you want to get into it? No, <laughs> you you're the one that it? brought it up. Let's do statistics, <laughs> isn't it? All right then. Uh, cool. I think I'm not late more often than not, but he's getting a lot better. He's now. not a lot better. You're getting a lot so, better. Well, listen, look, why are you always judging the man of his past? Oh, you, but you can talk about his height. All right, cool. No, that's not uh, that's that's present, isn't it? That's okay. not his past. <laughs> <laughs> he's presently short. <laughs> no, wow. he he's about saying his past, that present, and future. Yeah, you can get over being late, but. You can't get you can't get over being short. Yo, you can't yo, get over a lot of things. Emphasis on yeah, the word wolf. over, Mister Wolf. Let you, me can't, just, you can't get over the crib that let, I put my daughter in. Let me just spunk you for some time. In it, it. It's too in, hard to get if over. If my man pisses yeah, you off, you just yeah. you just put the ba- the toilet gate under in it, so you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You stay there. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know where all of this has come you're from. Getting you know. it, you're getting it. You're getting it because of Kevin, man. You're Kevin not did it. Going anywhere. Stay there, Mister Wolf. You've been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Talk, it? That's, why, that's why he don't cheat. House. That's why he don't cheat. He's woman that puts the toilet gate up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave the house. Childproof the house. I've left you a sandwich. I'm going to work. <laughs> you don't leave there. <laughs> I'm not back in that one. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects. Yes, we are starting from the beginning. (laughs) Welcome to another episode of the Eloquently Saying Nothing podcast. This is uh, episode 39 of season two. I am Stavros Buss up in your eyes. How does it feel? How does it feel? For three points, who's the singer? How does it feel? Are you asking me? Yeah. I don't know that you sang that song. Anyone else know? I'll pass. It's a long thing. Who sang the song, man? I can't remember anymore. Exactly. <laughs> All right, anyway. Oh, what's name? Anyways, it's Big Wahala, me. man. My name is my name. What's good? She told my baby we danced for free. Then she looked at me <laughs> and showed a photo of a baby. Cried eyes were like mine. Because we danced on the floor. And around. around. You didn't give it the spacing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> People always told me, be careful what, what you do. do. Don't, Don't go, go around breaking Gunnell's hearts. Told you. He's a cheat. on, it's your boy Webbs. Live by I the words of Michael. I on her face. You splashed on her face? I liked it, yeah. That didn't even rhyme. That, that, <laughs> that was just a statement, bro. Just, you know what that was? That reminded me of, yeah? Have you seen the video where they're, where they're doing the dabs? <laughs> they were the children that did the dabs. Yeah, bro. And, and the one boy. And Billy, and <laughs> Billy comes with the track with the truth. <laughs> I showed my daughter that seven oh, years old poor and Billy, she man. was creasing up. Billy. Billy. Billy came and did like, <laughs> he did like a power <laughs> just pose. <laughs> I was so proud of himself. I was proud of Billy. <laughs> Five kids were doing a dab. They were doing some kind of special uh, dab to, on camera. Five and- Five black children. Let's, let's make sure we yeah, do it. There was five, there were black, five black kids. They must have been about three or four years old. Mm. You know, one after the other, we're doing a nice special dab. And then up comes the young the Caucasian. Caucasian youth. And he just kind of did some, I don't know what it was. <laughs> why why, why is it? everything about color with you? Like, why couldn't you just say he, he, did, it? he did a retarded thunderclap. But no. <laughs> okay, but also we have in the room. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn. Which mother... Stole my flow. He me 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 mine blow all. Simple Sam is in the building. Oh, listen. I mean, last week, uh, I made a a bit of a four par. A four shout, par. Yeah, shout out to the Caribbean community. Shout out back to my Jamaica massive. I messed up on the um who Not sang two. the traffic blocking, didn't it? Not two par. It, it wasn't. It wasn't Vegas. It was indeed a Bob. general degree. That's it. So I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I put my hands up. Thank you, the community, for, <laughs> for putting man straight. All right, safe. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if you're wondering what the laughing no, you, is, you need to hear it as well. Sta- Stavros <laughs> just saw Billy it. do the Power Ranger. No, dab. listen, it's not that you could. No, that like, hearing it is not going to do <laughs> the it justice. Man. You need to watch the video, bro. <laughs> Wait, 
Shabazz said, Oh my lord. Oh my lord, what happened? Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Stavros is actually touched at the moment. Oh my lord. That that laughter he's, right there was actually based actually on standing Stavros up because he's in pain. Just watching that laughter. video. Oh my lord. <laughs> Stavros you just watched that video that we were explaining just a minute ago and I'm watching it like a hundredth time I'm laughing again I've actually got tears Somebody in my eyes take picture because I have tears in my eyes I don't want them to think I'm lying Let me order. I'll, I'll even take a selfie we also have in the room with us <laughs> <laughs> not that it matters now professional to the end let, let, yes. me, let me take it up we have uh, <laughs> oh my lord oh my lord <laughs> oh, it's too funny, I will have bro. a six six pack tomorrow we do that laughter, oh, boy. Oh my lord! <laughs> Why is it so full? <laughs> we have, it. We have, the, the we have Mr. Wolf in the building. Let's move on. And the proverb Ooh. this week is: <laughs> "Those who learn from and adopt the wisdom of others seldom stumble." No. Now, clearly, Billy did. Billy, exactly. Billy, Billy, didn't learn the Billy stumbled. <laughs> Billy stumbled. <laughs> you, you oh understand? my lord! I don't need to explain that one, but hey. Boom, bad man. I'm gonna say that every time something goes wrong now. <laughs> oh my lord. Because that's what the man said in the background. <laughs> oh the my poor, lord. The poor you. How old is he though? He must have been what, know. about four, five <laughs> years old. You know what? And he's older than that. Do you know what? I don't know I don't know when that came up. I don't know when that came up, but what should have happened? Because we're gonna talk about it anyway, so I'm gonna jump right in there. When Kevin Hart's wife asked him, Did you cheat on me? He should have done he that. He should have done that. <laughs> he should have done the post. <laughs> You should have done the post. <laughs> I feel. You should have just done that post so to her. I, I wouldn't even sorry say. for that child. Oh, Billy, man. No, he's getting in the internet. They're they're ripping him apart, man. No, he, Billy's getting no, no. Billy's, Billy's getting. They're Billy's not cuffing Billy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Billy's, Billy's gonna gonna giving him out from this. Back huh? to Kevin Hart. He wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what was going on. The look on his face. He was he was bemused. <laughs> What do uh, I do what, next? Uh, what have these negroids in front of me been doing? <laughs> what do I do next, sir? <laughs> Somebody say, come and have a look at this. Come and have a look at this right were here. Were they not look learning right maths and English like me? They were learning how to dance in school. Anyways, nah, guys. Bro. He's probably going to be the next president. Or a I, president or the president in 25 or 30, I, I 30, 30, 35 hope, years. I just hope they give him a black. Because he, he wasn't his fault, man. That wasn't his fault. <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like they set him up. I don't know. No, but, but it's like the way he was so confused. He saw the four people before him. Yeah, but <laughs> how could he not? It was do like it? It, it's like it was. You know what? When they say that, I know it's wrong to say it, but you know when they say white people cannot dance, like it's just impossible for them. He, he said he, that he, he showed it. Yeah, he showed and it. That stereotype. In his rawish form. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about what about if this just this guy knows the time that he lives in and he knows that we're hypersensitive about racism right now and he thought maybe the dab was the dancing equivalent of saying nigger and he couldn't do it. But maybe. <laughs> but he, he's the, in his body and spirit, they told him to do that. And that's what I respect. Right, okay, he okay. followed his spirit. <laughs> if, Billy, you follow your spirit, man. If don't kill the no video, blacks, though, later. This oh, don't make no sense right, right now. So um, we'll, we'll definitely post. We're going to have that. to post the video. Oh, my days. Uh, Simple. Uh, you man should have showed me that from before. I was putting in the group, no, bro. It's Good no, that no, you didn't you, see it until now. One day, one day, at one point, when we're safe enough in life to do this, we should just read out the group chat. <laughs> Boy, never <laughs> in life. You ready safe for that, bro? Enough in I'm, life. I'm, I'm, I don't have any problems. I'll be fine. All right. Guys, how's, how's your week been? Don't usually ask this, but uh, I'm asking now. Uh, let's start off with the late comer, Simple Simon. I'm leaving the group chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Uh, week's been all right. Um, today's been madness. Part of the reason why I was late. Went and go and watch the old Spurs today. Went into uh to the White Hart. Um, what even White Hart? Like, what am I talking about? Went into West Ham's ground. And you, you, you know he doesn't go football often. I was recording clips and sending it to us. No, like, the, the question I'm gonna ask is right. I want you to understand we're recording at quarter to two in the morning. The football started at twelve thirty in the afternoon. Yeah. How is that the reason why you're late? No, it's twelve that's, hours later. Yeah, my, my my where my day started. So by the time I got to, after I'd finished everything that I was doing, I was back at my house by eight o'clock, about ten past eight. Go for I, a couple of cans. And I thought, look, ten past eight, a bit tired, mate. Have a nap. Go on then. Go on then. <laughs> you have a couple of cans with the lads. Hold on, but we're meant to record at nine. Why no, would you? No, we were a, meant a to, it, by that time <laughs> it, we had already said it was going to be ten thirty. Okay. He had already said. So I said, all right then, let's have a let's have a little bit of a cheeky nap, innit? Went down for the cheeky nap. 
put the alarm on and everything. I must have done some zombie me- move and woke up and, and, and turn off the alarm. And then Mrs. came in a couple of hours later and I'm like, oh, hello. And she's like, yeah, oh, how was the podcast? And I was like, I haven't done it. What are you talking about? Looked at my phone and these guys were like, oh, where are you? Where are you? So, yeah. I didn't say shit. I don't think I, it was that bad, actually. Nobody was bitching the morning. I already anything. knew you were sleeping. I was prepared to just do it without you. There was a question. <laughs> I was wondering why that didn't happen. Because That's we were waiting for the other dread. Oh, was what I was saying. One you dread was waiting for the other dread. Yeah. And they both should have got their hair chopped off. So, uh, <laughs> oh, you're taking the full mick. <laughs> you know when yeah, you don't walk you together, together you down caught the a lot of slang on, on, on y- yeah, Twitter, man. man. Yeah, you, I was it, there. I was there for it. I was, I was, well, you, I was, he backed it. When you walk down the street, yeah, uh, together, yeah. Weeks do you link? Do you link dreadlocks together? Like a power to get power together. You say what? Do you link your dreadlocks together when you walk down the street? That to get powers. You're a fool. Joy powers. Is it, you, you are power feeling. extreme. You know the Jay Diller video, uh, nothing like this. Mm. Mm. Are you saying, mm, do you actually know the video? <laughs> I know the video. Do you know, do you know the video? Do you know the, well, then, when we talk about yeah, linking no, yeah. locks, no. We well, when you see the video for no. nothing like this no. by the incredible Jay Della. Stavros, no. Do you yeah. two, I bet you, the, I bet you lot, people that have like dreadlocks um, that get married together, I bet you they do that to show some intertwine. Yeah, they, 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 they link their locks. They tie, tie their locks and jump over a broom. Wow. Web, so how's your week? Do people in a relationship that both have breasts, do they touch their breasts together? I've done wow. it before. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Did you say you've done it wow. before? Wow. <laughs> I'll rub it. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say, Simple? Sorry? Well, I ain't saying nothing. I'm trying to say nothing. <laughs> Listen, I'll, 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 take, I'll admit it, man. When my daughter was finished with my wife, she'd look at me and like, <laughs> <laughs> where's, where's yours? What's up, bro? <laughs> what's up? Um, what, what are you bringing to this exactly. relationship? No, what's, what's going on, cuz? Yeah, <laughs> what's going on, cuz? Yeah, I, I know you ain't got these for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Webster, go on, yes, you do. Uh, the week has been all right. That's all I can say, you know. Yeah, you can also say it in the mic. No, it's been all right. It's just been, yeah, it's been dead. Ha, ha, that ha, means he's been doing something. How was acclimatizing back to the UK been? I bloody hate it. Hey, I came back and I caught a little sniffle. That's how bad it was. You- you came back around the same time that somebody else that was in South Africa came back and they they, they were saying they want to go back, boy. Yeah. So South Africa must be popping right now. South Africa is popping. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, the week's been good, man. Been a little bit busy, sorting out bits and pieces, sorting out paperwork, just living life, innit? Doing the hustle on the grind. Wolfman. Looking at bottom. Mm. Everywhere yeah. we go, we do the same thing. Everywhere. That's it. Um, Good week. New addition to the family. Um, yeah, congratulations. congratulations let's just clap yeah, our hands yeah. you know? celebrations we have a new baby in the family and, and I love the way the, yeah the listeners all thinking that it's my child it's not mine my uh, older sister or my elder sister mine. has um, just had a baby girl we give thanks to that and we're looking forward to the naming ceremony as we do in Yoruba land and um, yeah it's been good I, I, well, won't, I won't lie to you I'm not one of the listeners but I even thought that it might be you had one sneak, yeah, sneak child that's getting like the bush it in, yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm thinking oh Mr. Mr. Wolf been doing sex again he's <laughs> been under <laughs> the dark do you know how deep it is that when a man can say it's been a it's been a it's been a, a long day a new baby's just arrived <laughs> that people don't ask why didn't you tell us about the child they don't say congratulations bruv that's how deep the, the friendships are these days that someone could say baby just arrived do you know the little emoji baby smiling like champagne like well, I'm going to celebrate and people won't ask since when did you get someone pre-? like let alone who how is somebody pregnant who's pregnant they don't say congratulations and well, like yeah well, well, when well, is well, the well, when well. is the naming ceremony people just take it for granted now you know it's just glad you still got it in ya Bast- yeah, bastard black men look after your children but work look after your children Work, kids, new edition, um, and that's it, really. That sounds like an album title. Yeah. Yeah. Work, kids, new edition. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the, the reunion. Uh, Wala. Yeah, my week's been cool. I can't even remember what I did for the week. All I know is that I've been, I've been, I've been upset with myself this week and last week and the week before last. So basically, your life. Hmm? You're basically upset with your life. <laughs> no, man. I've just been. Um, I haven't been gymming the way I'm supposed to be gymming. So I've been doing like two day weeks, and for me, that's like poor. And I haven't played play football, as you know, because the weekend hasn't been there. So I've been upset. So this week I've tried to go back on it again. So I did a couple. I did a couple of uh, days this week, and I ended up speaking to some people in the gym, which I, which frightens me to death. Why? I just don't like speaking to people in the gym, man. But me and this guy, I had having a conversation. It's like it's like school, isn't it? When you go to the gym, you, you see people every day. You, you eventually start giving the head nod, and then suddenly you start speaking to them. <laughs> he spotted me when I was doing a. I was doing a. Um, 
a lift that I haven't done because I hadn't been for a while. I was having a bit of a struggle on one of the lifts, so he came to help me, and then we ended up talking. And then now I'm talking to this guy in the gym, man. Did, he, did he spot me. you? Yes, he spotted me. <laughs> What's your issue? In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't do that. Though. But yeah, he spotted me, and I, I never people never spot me, so. I, I thought to myself, you know, let me just see if it can help me and he helped me out. So. Did a bit of sweat drip. No, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you wake up tomorrow. Every, I hope you wake up for the next four days and the lock has dropped out every single time. Really? You wake up. really? Yeah. I hope you gain a pound every day. Okay, don't mind. I'm fat already. That's the help me. <laughs> Stavros, how was your week? Um, I've got, I think, some sort of chest infection. Good. Got it from my daughter who That's bad. passed it on to me. Um, you know, she was coughing so bad she would cry sometimes. After after the whole day of coughing, she started almost like crying after the cough. But anyway, she's got over it. Pass it on to me, and I've never felt pain like this. <laughs> and now you're out here passing it on to us. Do you get it? Is, I've is got it, it already, man. The back yeah, of my throat's killing what, me, what, bro. What, what, what? Um, what are you gonna say? Disease. Like the, uh, the the the, 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 the um, let's let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Like I also uh, watched a uh, family lamp. After Simple Simon promoted the thing to me, he's like, "Listen, you have to watch this in the guy." Sorry, he sent it to the group. To the guys, are we starting with Family Lamb? Yeah, we start with Family Lamb because um, I'm sure we'll just forget if we don't start with it. We've got a jam packed week, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about this week because this week in the news has been popping and society and culture. So, <laughs> did we all watch the Family Lamb? Yeah, yeah. Well, did you actually go back and watch the I watched thing? it just today before before I came to the podcast. All right, so what, what do you what, before we start? I'm just giving ratings out of 10 because I'll just say six. I would go over six or five, even maybe less. Six wow. or five, or maybe I, I, less. I, I laugh, Give it something. I laughed once throughout the whole program. Le- hold on, let me guess which part. It oh, was. You know, I laughed. <laughs> which bit? The bit with the the the, the um, sex um, chat. Yes. <laughs> that was. I laughed once, the, and the only t- other bit that almost made me snigger was when they were doing the Nollywood films. <laughs> it's all the Nigerian bits that so is funny. Yeah, it's all fun. the rest of it, I was just like, what's this? So what marks you give it? I'll give it. No, I'll go with stab. I'll give it a five, six. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say yeah. I would say a, a strong to like six as well. But you're going to like it was you, fantastic. He was going to no. like it was funny. The thing is, the the piece that we when I said to you, I'm dying was that piece because that piece was funny. The way Auntie was talking on the phone while she was <laughs> chopping the ingredients and putting them in the pot, finish me off. I was not going to lie. You know, it's spot. It's spot at the end for me when when she turned up. Oh no! I would prefer that she did it. I feel like did. Before we do any spoilers, so we can cut give it. the cut, cut it. You know the cut it. The spoiler alert. 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 Thank you. My brain's gone. I'm ill. Let's do the scores. So, uh, Webs. I'll give it a generous five. Were you saying it was really good as well? Yes, I'm sure it was. No. I said I chuckled a couple of times, but I didn't say it was really good. All right, five. Wolf? Uh, 6.5. Wow. So I would say really? it's got like a... Yes. Wow. And and the reason why is because I laughed quite a lot. Okay. So, so that's, it's, that's, it's got that's potential, though. That's an average of six. Yeah? It's got potential. It's got potential. There are going to be spoilers. If you want to watch Family Lamb and you don't expose, you don't allow spot, then check out for seven minutes and come back. I'll <laughs> give a shout out to Roxy Sternberg, who's in it. So, yeah. Who's Roxy Steinberg? She was the light skinned girl that's in it. Okay. I mean the the part that um Simple and Rahala was talking about was you know on well, some people know, some people don't. So this is a spoiler. On, well, we've already done the spoiler alert, innit? So on some channels on cable or sky or Babe Station. Or, thank you. Anti-station. You have Babe Station and certain people call in to look at these women funneling themselves. Looking at breast at the backside, you know, looking at sexy woman. So this guy <laughs> was calling in, but rather than he was switching channels, yeah, he, he was seeing all the women. He was seeing all, the, was all the women, all these channels. And, and he just couldn't connect with any of these women. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but, no, it's true though. But, it was a connection. No, he, you know, he wasn't getting no he, arousal from these women. So he saw one auntie there. That it was called the traditional woman's channel. And let me tell you something, this woman was cooking food and when she was uttering, listen, and I swear <laughs> down, you know, this is Mr. Wolfie, you know I love my food. When she was saying the foods, I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So was that as well. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I want that. Moi moi. She's, I want she said moi moi. I was like, Jollof rice. Yo, know, you know, the funny thing, when she was doing that, I actually thought about Wala. <laughs> she said, was watching this. 
you'll be the head of the household. That's what I knew Star was involved. <laughs> you'll be the head of the head. Everybody, they will, everybody will praise you. I will praise you. Your children will praise you. You have more than one child. And there was my man tossing his yeah. <laughs> Is there one kind of? And then when she dropped into the food, I said, "I'll even give jollof rice and stew and moima." And I, when she said moima, moima I said, was "Yes, it. yes, yes." Moima yes. killed that, it for me. The part that made me funny said, "You will have some children. We will start with eight at first. Yeah, I said eight, eight. <laughs> at first. I said that is it. It's over. There will be doctors. There will be lawyers. There will be <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the village will respect you. She, I think she's the best in there. The, my favorite actress in the. Yeah, she is funny. There was the bit where she that they would go when they was pretending to do that. Um, play or whatever where you had to go and read the lines yeah yeah when she read her lines for that thing it was fantastic yeah, it, was, it was really good and then I was thinking to myself this woman is a very very good actress mm. and then um, yeah that, the rest of the show for me wasn't that do, do you know the one thing I did like about it is that it's got that boy in it which one the boy that's um meant to be the one that was playing the the, 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 the sex god from the village or whatever he was the handsome one in yeah, the village yeah. that's the same guy that used to do all the YouTube videos which do you remember? Which YouTube? The man? ones that you know, the ones that was the one that we were talking about. When the one goes, "Come here, oh yeah, bring it," and he's talking about the money, and he's saying when the man get, the, the uncle gives the man money, basically, and he goes, "Eh, bring that money here," and he took the money from the from the from the young boy. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Oh wow, no, I've forgotten it. How many years old is this? He's not that years old, but he was used to be like a proper YouTube guy. I forget his name though. Okay, but he used to do lots of YouTube videos. If you, if, if you if you see the, I'm surprised you don't know who he is when you see it because you've seen probably I, a lot I, of his I'm videos. Not, uh, his face was familiar, but, but yes. Yeah, but then he went away. So he's not doing any of the YouTube videos. He's gonna like start his career. So obviously now this is part of his career. So okay. I need to find out his name. Why are you lot chatting? I'll find out. Anyway, so I don't want to go into every sketch and you know spoil every single sketch. Can we just say what we liked and what we didn't like about it? Kind of like generally. Um, it was quite, quite Nigerian, quite African, quite West African, I could say. Um, I liked that. And I also liked that they interwove stereotypes and maybe showed the other side of what could possibly be happening on the stereotype, as opposed to saying, as, as opposed to just reinforcing an existing stereotype. A lot of the time, a couple of sketches underneath were like, mm, how about if we view this slightly differently? Yes, yes. Uh, so I like that. I thought that was a, a nice, interesting you, twist. You could tell there was some social commentary that they were gunning for, like uh, the Luther thing. Mm. That was bang on. This is social That's commentary. It. This yeah. is social commentary. It was just dry. Mm. That was that was the worst sketch for me. Mm. And then they came back to it again, and I was thinking, <clears throat> it's so. I said, I get what they're trying to say, but for, for me, oh, it was the geez. prince. It was the prince. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that, that was. That, yeah. I, I liked. I liked the accent. I liked that sketch. I like. I wasn't. I wasn't fond of it. Is the guy's name is Tommy Expansive. That's his name. Okay. okay. Tommy Expansive. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is a while back now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That was good. He was good. I don't know. I just for me, it, doesn't, it never gripped me, man. I watched it and I was just like, okay. Um, some of you lot are doing accents. It's not that good. Uh, the Nollywood film part was funny because you know Nollywood films, innit? But then they rinsed it. Yeah, they did. After they did the it. first one, don't do the second one. You just rinsed, you rinsed but it. They did every sketch twice. And that's what annoyed me, I suppose. And, um,. I don't know because it seemed like uh, is it a one off or is it gonna come back? This, not, this, this is the pilot, isn't it? This is what that is what happens. Is it one of them ones where they do the pilot and if it gets enough love on social media, and yeah, people, well, so it's not on next week. Well, what it was because BBC it. commissioned a whole bunch of shows with black entertainers, black cast, but they've all gotten just a pilot season or they've just got one run to see how well they do. So we were almost like a focus group to see it and if it gets enough ratings and gets enough followings then they'll commission it for another episode or another season or another show have you had anybody else talk about it I haven't I saw I saw a lot of stuff on Facebook but that was just due to the people that I know that were a part of it it was trending it was trending was it Mm -hmm. that's good at least it's trending I want want them to do more shows and I think if they gave it more shows it'll be better yeah Yeah. if it trends enough then yeah as much as it's got a six it definitely has potential I I believe the guys have uh, potential (laughs) that's for sure just maybe a bit of, I don't know how many writers there are in it because you know these kind of shows they have so many writers behind the scenes. Yeah, but I, I'm hoping it's not just the guys that you see them, and maybe another couple and that's it. I think it's only two writers. I did have a quick look online. Um, this man went behind the scenes. Yeah, I had a quick look. Um, but whenever I, I hear which six, which one of the ten, chicks were you researching? None. <laughs> when, she she when, has a bikini, but I want to see what's behind it. It's the one that cooks. That's the one that yeah, we watch. I know that's one it, of the women it. behind it is um, Oimbo. Well, writer. Yeah, well, writer and producer. Well, that's standard, isn't it? We already said that you can't have a black thing without having a white person yeah, next to you. No, well, 
I don't know. I think you can, but when whenever I hear a six out of ten, um, I think that it's pretty good. It's got uh, potential. It, no, I I think it's good because. I always weigh it out. You know, if someone's to give you sixty pound out of a hundred, you'll be happy. You get me. And you know, four out of ten maybe not so much. Five out of ten is bang average. Six out of ten is good. Anything above that is, you know, you're bordering on very good and excellent. And for a first um, pilot or for a first show, I think it was really good. I laughed most of the time. The the Luther sketch for me was just yeah that was nonsense. They they chucked that in. It was just a nonsense. It wasn't funny, and I think that came kind of knocked off a few marks. Because if if it was another sketch that made people laugh, then maybe that six would turn into a seven. But for first show, very good. Um, and let's see what you got next. Six point five is not very good. But even though I don't think it was very good, I think it was plausible. I'm still picking them up. Like Issa Rae did when she went to the Emmys and during her interview and they asked her, who are you supporting? Or who, And she's like, all the black people. And now there's been a bit of... Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. Not, not tans, but hoo-ha. Some people have asked, you know, why can she say that? Woo-ha. Yeah, like, but if, it, if, it was, if it was a white person that said, who are you supporting these Emmys? And they said, everybody white. I wouldn't even have said nothing, you know. Or... This is this is the question I want to ask. What do you think would happen? Because I think if an Asian person said it, they could get away with it, and if a uh, Oriental person said it, they could get away with it, potentially. Or and a black person said it, we can get away with it. A white person can't say I'm support. I'm just I'm just here to support the white people. Or, or or I'm big enough. I, I want them to win. White people are not allowed to openly have white pride. <laughs> it's real. Be real about it. you. Are not allowed to openly. Have white pride. You can you, you have it every day in different ways. I was gonna say that, yeah. but no, but you cannot openly yeah, have white pride. No, why do you it think is that open? is? Hmm? We celebrate it all the time. No, in this, all right, in, in that circumstance, the Emmys is there. Yes, the majority of the people that were nominated are going to be white, probably seventy percent and upwards. And that's what kind of for me makes Issa Rae's statement not bad because she's if she says she's voting for all the black people and there's only four black people that she's voting for four people. But she says she she's not voting for them. She says she's rooting for them. Or rooting for them. Either sorry. way, but if you're rooting for people just because they're black, I think that's bad. But there was another interview where she actually used the word vote. I think, and this is for the Hollywood Report. I think is that the name of the magazine. And so they spoke to her as well, same red carpet, and she was discussing blah blah blah. And then when they asked her, so, you know, who you want to win? And she said, what's the program? The Americans. She said, the Americans do so well. I don't think they've won anything. And then other than that, I've been saying, what, you know, like what I've been telling everyone else, I'm voting and supporting for all the black guys. So I don't know if she meant in this specific um, thing, but she, I believe she used the word vote as well. But I don't have an issue with it. And because Spike Lee blatantly says it. When he does, because he's part of the Oscar, um, what do they call him? The, the board of, in the Oscars. So he has a, he has a vote. And he says, Rago, <laughs> I always vote for the black person. I don't see what the problem Spike is. Spike Lee because, could, I'd vote for the black person. Because, um, you know, we could go deep and talk about the systematic power, uh, white power and all those kind of things. We can go deep on that, but I won't. White power. In, in terms of... Um, Things like the Oscars, they don't openly say it, but they always go whacked. So the the whole Moonlight. idea of you understand well, the the whole idea of you can mention Moonlight or you can even mention Monsters Ball and these kind of things, but it's like one in a million. Yeah, but it's not you always the, is it? it's, it's not no, exactly one in a million. Well, there was what? How many Denzel. Oscars? None of you guys. No, 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 like no, listen, 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 listen. I know what you're doing. What you're doing is that you're mentioning sporadic victories for black folks One. do you understand man says spur- let's yeah. take a moment for that he no I'm just saying sporadic. if you say no. always that means constant okay most of the time yes better okay let's say I'm gonna throw a number out there eight times out of ten maybe nine eight out of ten cats the white folks vote for the whites at the Oscars and that's why there was this boycott a couple of years ago they don't openly say it I'm voting white but they do it so the whole idea of this woman saying what she done, saying what she said, I have no problem with so, it whatsoever. She's just being a little bit, she's just being outspoken and she's supporting her own. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying it. Yeah. Sorry, but you got to talk. I was just going to say, look, let's call a spade a spade. Simple things. 
with when it comes to the Oscars, the Emmys, and all of these big award ceremonies, <coughs> bar the music award ceremonies, anything to do with film and television, it's always a whitewash. It's always led by the whites. Uh, you, I don't know why you're taking away the music because the Grammys like to whitewash too. The Grammys mm-hmm. like to whitewash, but it's you don't now, say, well, now, now hasn't had rap album of the year. But back in the day, it was always Michael Jackson was always winning Bear Grammys. Do you know that? Um, in every category. Webs, mm. do you know that a spade is a spade is a racist um, is term. A racist, the racist term? Then I'm a racist. <laughs> <laughs> he said, then I'm a racist. If you didn't hear, I don't know. But anyway. But yeah, in, oh, yeah. in, in that respect, I don't think Issa Rae was wrong in her comment at all. I applaud her for her comment because it has been, and it is systematic that white the whites will always win in the awards. You're talking like a South Africa, the whites. That is right. <laughs> the whites. No matter what the bronze. No matter what the project no matter what the project <laughs> is or the film is. Because there's been some excellent performances in films with black actors and they they just get overlooked. I think that is Hey hey you're prone. I think rooting rooting for black actors is all well and good. Even voting for it, I'm not gonna make the biggest deal. But I I still think if you got the option to vote for who's best and a white person is better than the white black person, you should vote for the best person. And that's me. And there's but been many a time when a black person is blatantly yeah, I'm not better. disputing that. But they should and also they, vo- they should also vote for the black person. But it doesn't happen. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not disputing whether or not it happens. I'm saying the thing you should do is you should vote for the best person. Whether or not they're black, whether or not they're white. You should vote for yeah, the best then person. Your statement is void because we do vote for the best person, but because of the systematic. Um, no, you don't. That's the point. They're not voting for the best person. They're yeah. voting for the white person. Exactly. Is the white the, person the best person? The best person is doesn't white. always win. The best person is white in their eyes, whether they're good or not. But that's, that's what I'm saying. You, in, I don't think you understand. God's eyes, I don't think you the understand. The best person is the white person. <laughs> <laughs> in God's eyes. I don't know what God that is, mate. But the God of demons. Gaza. The God of Oscar. Question, though. Hmm. When you talk about um, actors or what have you and the audience watching actors, don't we have to somehow connect with the actor and the part that they're acting? Bro, you breaking down. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be doing the same thing myself, man. So f- forgiveness in, in yes, advance. Yes, Kata. Yes, Kata. Yeah, so don't, don't you think Staff that you have to be... To you. <clears throat> don't you think you have to relate to the actor? No. In the part that they're playing? No. And don't you think that sometimes um, the face of um, the actor whether we like it or not helps you to relate I don't think you have to relate to somebody to understand that their acting is brilliant no I'm not saying you don't ha- you have to I'm saying doesn't the relation help I or, don't I, I, okay then so then for example we should never have a problem with films like The Gods of Egypt then no that's that's something completely different than what you just said Saying that as a consumer, you sitting there and watching, uh, you know, a brown person watching a brown person, a black person watching a black person, you relate to something that you identify with more because um, you just identify with them more and that's going to help you relate. I actually I see what you're saying, but I agree with Wahala that if you're a great actor, then it shouldn't really matter, you know, whether I relate to you personally on a level or the part that you play, I relate to. I, maybe I can, I can love this film more because it's something that I identify with. They might do something about growing up in Hackney in the 90s and it's like, wow, this is my life. I feel this film. I might even understand why nobody else likes it, but because it touches me and my life, I get it. But that doesn't mean that as a lay consumer, I couldn't see that the actor in it maybe is not good or is extremely good if I wasn't from that world. Yeah, let's, let's lay so like... That's something completely different than something like Gods of Egypt where they just take people that they don't look like the people they represent in and then do the nonsense. Yeah, let's say like Training Day. Yeah? So Training Day. Denzel Washington won the Oscar for Training Day, didn't he? Yeah? Yes. I don't relate to that character in any way, shape or form. I'm not a police, not a gangster, not a crook. I'm not any of that, right? So, but I know that it was brilliant. And for me, he's a brilliant actor. You should have won the Oscar and he did. So you really should have won the Oscar for Malcolm X. Denzel's Character and Denzel's acting. No, why? Are you, it's like you don't listen. You just say things that, was, like, that go against what I just said. So if I said, a white I do not person relate played him. the role, yes, he, he would have been brilliant. Same way. What? What? what, what so difference you liked it because of Denzel? His acting was good. That's what I liked. That's what I'm saying. You oh, related to Denzel. God. You're just trying to make a point just by chatting rubbish now. But Gary, anyway, no, I'm saying. just saying you related to Denzel. No, I said his acting was brilliant. Right? Whether or not the character, I didn't relate to the character. The character's got nothing to do with what I'm saying. Which the first thing you what, said to me what, was... What's, you your, what's your definition of relate? 
webs. His acting. You related to his acting, his performance, not his character. No, what's your definition? You're just repeating what you said. What said, do you mean by relate? That you looked at it and said, okay, it's a black guy. I relate to the black guy. No. Nah. That was just what I just said to you. <laughs> oh, my God. No. The, he acted well. Fine. Okay, let me ask you a question. Um, somebody from Pakistan watching that film, do you think that they should, that they can't see how well he acted in that film as much as somebody from Accra Lake, uh, Ghana? They will see a brown person or someone close to their color. You ever answered my question? No. They, so you really feel that people watching people on the screen, if they're not of their ilk, if they're not of their color, if they're not from where they're from, if they don't speak the language they speak or something like that, they can't fully appreciate the person, the skill that they're doing. All right, let's go back. Let's just say. I want him to answer no, this question first, appre- please. They can Sorry. fully appreciate the skill that they're doing. Well, that's just goes against what you just said, by the way. Not necessarily. Good. God almighty. So let's say, family, <laughs> let's say family, yeah? Yeah. If that was an all white cast doing exactly the same thing, would you have related to it in the same way? No. Well, that's what I'm saying. But that's different though. Okay. Because they were doing things that clearly are, because Af- I'm, I'm talking about the, the Nollywood stuff and everything. But if they were good actors, that wouldn't matter. No, everything in that, every joke in that program had a hint of race in it, apart from the Luther thing, I think, unless somebody can tell me otherwise. All of it had something to do with race. So if you're talking about a white person playing the race, like uh, racially stereotypical things, I think before we started recording, we said racial stereotypes were a big part of the thing. I don't know if we mm-hmm. did it. So yes, if a white person did it, it'd be different. So I don't, I don't even get what you're talking about. Whereas a corrupt policeman can be black or white or anything. It doesn't matter. So Denzel Washington can be a corrupt policeman in training day and it could have been played by another great actor of another hue, and it would have made a difference. I still would have loved the film. I still would have related to it. It would have made a difference. Okay. I, I, I don't get... I don't get why you'd even say... Sometimes I don't get you, you know. <laughs> sometimes, right, sometimes I don't get you. Quickly just go around the table. Sometimes. What's everybody's favourite film? Goodfellas. Ah, I can't, man. There's too many. Field of Dreams. Maybe one. Pulp just Fiction. Pulp Fiction, Goodfellas, cool. Field of Dreams... Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. Oh, and Damn. Glory. Okay, what's your point? Everybody else's film was basically white people in the film. Yeah. That's my point. If it was, if it was, if no, if it was, if it was black actors playing those roles, if it was black actors in Goodfellas, You're prawn. would you relate to it more? No. Why not? Because I don't do gangster behavior. I don't, I don't understand what you're not understanding. Doesn't matter that you don't do gangster behavior, but you're seeing someone that looks like you. No, I would not relate to it more. The character is what I'm dealing with. I'm not dealing with just because somebody's in blackface. No, I'm not doing that. No. Okay. Same with you, Stav. Mm, I don't think so. No, I enjoy the film. Or the premise of the film. In fact, one of the major characters is black, actually. Mr. Wolf. One of the major characters is black in Pulp Fiction. I just a couple of the characters are black in Pulp Fiction. I love the the stories within it. There's about four stories that come together at the end, and I love it. Simple Sam. Um, Inglorious Bastards. I just like monologues and and there is there is a black in that too. You got you got two. Waltz had big monologues. Two Quentin Tarantino films in this on this uh, podcast saying that this their best film. Deep. Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, I, I do say Inglorious Bastards has the best opening scene of any film. Any yeah. film. Any yep. film. Inglorious Bastards opening scene is legendary. Yes. Just YouTube it. It's deep. It is legendary. If you appreciate dialogue and how um people nuances speak, as well. Oh my god. Yeah, a lot of um you know, metaphors and all kinds of things are said in there. It's mad. You know what? I want people on Twitter to come and tell us what their favourite opening scene is because I'm sure there's probably others that we're skipping and we just don't remember. Mm. Because the, the, the opening scene in Goodfellas is fantastic as well. No, it's not. It's not even. It's not on the level of, of that one. I don't want anyone. I don't want you to come to social media and say anything other than the opening scene. No, I want to because everybody's I, gonna I, have an nah, opinion. No, because it doesn't matter opinion. what your opinion is. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, there might be it's, films it's that you can't, you can't even remember family members. So you you might be able to have films that you <laughs> I don't remember family. <laughs> Pulp Fiction <laughs> opening scene. Yeah, yes, is, again, yes. Pulp Fiction probably for me. Pulp Fiction might be better. I'm trying to remember it now. Pop is the one uh, way you go. Uh, what do you uh, mean? Uh, uh, that is the legendary scene. It's, it's not. No, hold on. Oh, they're in the bar. It's nowhere near as good as Inglorious Bastards. What did you just do, Puff? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't in the bar. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. 
Everybody freaks. They're in the diner. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that one. Oh, I in actually diner, was wrong what I thought it was, diner. but yeah, that but one is awesome. Even the bit you're talking about is not as good. There's one, there's a flash of brilliance if I think, if, I, if it's right. Inglorious right. Bastards, that opening scene is supreme, bro. See, the question could be which is the best opening scene of all time? That's the question we're having. Of all time, not of your favorite film. Hold on, Webs. Oh, yeah? He's on something today, you know what that? Of all did, What happened time. to you in South Africa? <laughs> Plen- <me. laughs> did, you ha- did you have sex with a prawn? I had the prawns, man. He's on something today. No, of all time, not just your favorite films. Of all time, you are a lost soul. It's not one understanding me. Am I speaking? I think it's no, that. No, it's no, that no. You know what? Yeah, I you are literally saying, the though. boy that did the figure at the end of the tab <laughs> video at this moment in time. Uh, 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 what, what name did we give him? Oh Lord, Billy, Billy, <laughs> Billy, Billy. Hey, Billy. Oh um, Lord, Billy Carlo from Atlanta. She had no Piers Morgan wrinkles. Or Kevin Hart, which one we want to do first? Let's do Kevin Hart. I don't even want to talk about. I don't even want to talk about Piers Morgan. I want to talk about that. We stuff. can talk about him, but I just don't like giving him any time of day because that's all he wants. It's but, not yeah. even necessarily about him, but I we'll get we to that. We'll get to that shortly. All right. So Kevin Hart has confessed in a public video that he has cheated on his pregnant wife. Uh, this is very late now in the game. We're about a week late now. Black men everywhere are distraught at the way he has let the team down. Uh, are, are they? B- because it is known black men don't cheat. It is known. Right. Black men don't cheat. Yeah, exactly. Damn. None of you cheat, do you? Nope, exactly. And we represent black men. <laughs> All right. Man had to think you like, did I, did I cheat? <laughs> no. Not, yeah. not this year. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, he let it known on the video that he was trying to be extorted and he wasn't allowing himself to be extorted. So the only reason that he admitted it was because somebody was trying to take the money off him. For showing, has anyone seen the video? By the way, I haven't seen. I've it seen partially. The, I've seen part of the video. The sorry video, the I did no, not. No, the actual, actual video, video itself. Yeah, no, I haven't seen the actual video. That is like people are talking about bits that I, I only saw like a bit of it, but I haven't seen what some bits that people are talking about. All right. Uh, so apparently, the the figure that she asked for was I'm hearing various figures between ten one and fifteen million. I had ten million, fifteen million. Ten and fifteen is the ones that are sticking out the most. You know that there is a video of her um, having a press conference saying that she's not extorting any money. Yeah, she tried to say that after she yeah. tried to extort the money, though. And you know what she said? She said, "I will take a lie detector test, proving that I wasn't trying to extort, you know, him for the fee of I think it was six hundred and forty thousand dollars." Yeah, because she was asking for ten million. Yeah, because that's the that's no, no, how no. She oh, she got. Oh, she got. I, I will take a lie detector test. Oh, to get money. For six hundred and forty thousand. Oh my oh, god! See. So in other words, she's, uh, she's trying to extort him then to get money out of him that way. Well, not him. Just, pay my lawyer just, fees. Just, Anyone know, for somebody who's gonna pay me to take a? I don't know who would do that. I don't Mori know who, do who is this woman. Mori would do it straight, boy. Mori would. We want to find out. And so would TMZ. if Kevin Hart put his dick inside you. Steve Hart would do it. The Steve Harvey would do it. Steve uh, Harvey. Yeah. We have to hold each other responsible. <laughs> the lie detector says, "Am I my brother's keeper?" You are a liar. I got two questions for you. First of all, what, really? do, you, what do you think about the situation? Are we just going to mock him and whatnot? But secondly, do you think he should have paid? Taking into account le- that he could afford to pay. Let's just say he could afford to pay. Man made approximately about ninety million between August two thousand fifteen and two thousand sixteen. That's one year, ninety million. So if somebody's asking for ten, you can assume that he's making that kind of money year on year on. He's not Nigerian. That's could, what I'm saying. Could bro. Would you have paid if it was you and this? If you, if it was guaranteed that she was gonna go, you Boy. know. But what are you paying for? For Her silence. silence. Yeah, and what, what I don't understand. What is so her silence? About the situation, he yeah. has a pregnant wife that he went and cheated on her birthday weekend, don't tell nobody. and I've got it on tape, and I want to show the world. Now I can keep this to myself. You pay me the money, and your wife never knows about it. She's still pregnant at the moment. Now this kind of stress is not what a pregnant woman needs in her life. It might mess up your your marriage with this woman, and just your like career, you, man. just like you messed up the marriage with your last woman because you cheated on the woman that you're with now. And that's peak already. So everybody's like basically laughing at this one now. It's like you get what you. But you deserve, man. Yeah. So they you, keep saying if you were the woman that cheated on or was was cheating with the woman that the man has left you for, he then gonna do the same. When you he were che- the mistress, yeah. don't worry, there's gonna be another mistress. Yeah, so, I, don't, I don't know if that is consistent. I don't know, but I don't but, think it's always the case. Yeah. Of course, it's not always the case, but yeah, it was the case in this one. In my in my head, as far as I'm concerned, from from time from time and time before. Immemorial. Yes, in times of 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 year, Babas have been paying off women to stop them from talking, <laughs> right? Whether he's giving them cars, whether he's giving them money, small, small. Even even some people might even be taking them to eateries. 
but they've been paying off women to just keep themselves quiet and stay there on the corner. Yeah, but I think it's a mugging because if you're gonna pay this one woman ten bags or 10, I want to give her ten million. She's ten, taking a piss with ten you're, million. You're no pussy is worth ten million. <laughs> it's it's huh? just your life. Huh? Potentially your livelihood. Yeah, but then here's what I'm saying to you. This is what doesn't make sense to me. If he's gonna pay her ten million just to be quiet, then he may as well have just used an escort service. It'd have been a lot cheaper. I'm saying this now, yeah, and I'm uh, people might look at me wrong. She was someone who she tries to extort, mate. Because there's a man that will kill her for two hundred and fifty thousand. How did he allow it to be filmed, or did he not know? He didn't know. I was, I was going to ask the same question. He didn't know. He didn't know. But apparently, apparently there were even two cameras. Yeah, there was a couple of girls in there as well. He, he was he was high and drunk. Like yeah. properly high and properly drunk. So isn't that um isn't there some laws against this? Listen, I was listening to the the brilliant idiot Slacker like while I said he said uh uh well, I'm gonna spell it a bit. He said that they said that he was like LOL, LOL. brilliant idiot said that he he was raped. And I was like, What's funny about that? I don't get it. Until I listened to it and it was hilarious because just like you said, Simple Simon and Wala, he was drunk, or it seemed like he was drunk, he was high, these people put cameras in the room and then Took advantage, advantage of him. Of the, and they're saying if that was a woman that said Blatantly. I was drunk and I was high and these guys put camera in the room and took advantage of me when I was drunk and high, then everyone would be like, that's an uproar. If this was a woman, that's if rape. this was a woman, there would be a big uproar, whether she's got a husband or not. And that's one thing I actually want to talk about. Because as much as we're um, saying this, blah, 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 blah. I've never, I've never heard any, when have you ever heard of a black woman celebrity cheat on her husband? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah. Go on. I, I, can't, I can't remember. Go on. Exactly. Because I don't remember ever. It's happened blatantly. and um, On their happened. husband. Not, yeah, not on yeah. their man, you know. Husband, man, or long-term man, but it was their man. It's happened. I can't remember, man. Uh, well, not in the it's public. Happened. It's happened. It's, yes, it's happened. It's happened in public. I searched for it. I couldn't find it. It's happened, man. I'm, I'm telling you this. I know. I know. It's happened. I know. I, it might even come to me. Is is that so much has happened. Mm. Yeah. My question is, out of all of us on the table, we we are smart enough to know not to get into any circumstances I would have paid. like that. If I was stupid enough to put myself in that circumstance, then I'm stupid. Then I deserve the payment. <laughs> you would have paid. Um, yeah, you are not true. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin Hart just called a bluff, innit? So and and that was it. He didn't want to pay the because f- in his head, this is my thing. I reason. I think the reason why he didn't pay is because it's more than her. And if he pays her, and it gets out that he's paid this woman somehow, more than we're gonna come out the woodwork. How many huh? women were there? Apparently, he banged about six girls. I've been hearing all these mad in stories. In the same night. In the same weekend. So you trying to say Kevin Hart's a young Bill Cosby? God. I don't know. I know. They would want... It's a reverse. They would pill in him. Pilling <laughs> him. But I don't know. For me, because it, it's not the same girl that was in the pictures a couple of weeks ago either. It's a different girl, apparently. I think. I think they're not the same girl. I don't even know. So, uh, for me, pregnant wife, he's just trying to... He's just trying to get in front of the story before the story comes out and you're trying to save his career because man is doing Jumanji you get me you can't be doing Disney films and putting your dick in people when your wife is pregnant at home so people that do Disney films don't put their dick in people when the wife's pregnant at home <laughs> not when the wife's pregnant at home when she's cooking maybe but not when she's pregnant at home That's listen a- what she's doing is illegal as well so now the FBI is involved yeah. they're going after her if they arrest her I'll, I'm happy I hope they do arrest her they will her. because they will. I they're, hope she gets arrested. They're, they're, it's extortion. They're arresting yeah. her for That's, that is now it's extortion. Fraud. It's not fraud. It's extortion. What's, yeah, what's fraud about? I don't know. I just fraud. Yeah. Nigeria, 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 did it? Yeah. You're frauding me. You are not allowed to say I'm holding this over your head. You have to give me money. That's that's illegal. Mm. So the minute you say, "All right, then I'm going to the pol- police," but that tells you how that tells you about how much she has available for lawyers because they didn't find an intricate route. They found the. It's the straight route. Do you know who her lawyer is? She's got one celebrity lawyer. The same lawyer that went for China, helped China. And I think that might even be the same lawyer that went for the one that um, wanted to try and get the money from the and Usher as well. Yeah, Usher. The, she's not, she's I, not I, a I new think, celebrity lawyer. Lisa Bloom, I think. Well, that's, that's been like debunked now, isn't it? It's yeah, like, yeah, it wasn't, yeah. It, yeah. You so bang that one. You know, you know he didn't do it when Usher came out and said, no, 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 no. The man that said, I ain't talking about him and the other chicks, I ain't talking about them, but I didn't do nothing with her. If I want you, I can how, take how, you how, from your man. How embarrassing is that on an on a international <laughs> level? Like, you came out and said that this man may have uh, exposed you to something. And then he turns around and said, no, baby, not you. <laughs> no, boo-boo, not you. <laughs> Him, maybe, not you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing is that? You know what I feel about what's going on with this Kevin Hart thing? And you may, may have felt it as well, Mr. Wolf. Me? Yeah. 
Short men are getting it now. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, They're my getting God. it. No, they, did you see him on Twitter? They got destroyed. Fired. They were saying, look, as a short man, he should, how dare he? That's what they were saying. <laughs> as a short man, how dare he? He should be happy he's got a woman in the first place. How dare you be five foot some and still cheat? That is what people are actually saying and they mean it. Just um, that. Just uh, let need to people grow up. know, Mr. Wolf is not as short as um, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah. look, one upmanship. Oh, I'm getting cramped in my so, leg now. But this Jeez. is, what did Jay-Z say it's about being a billionaire? He's cute. What, what yeah, 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 yeah. Like, once you got a certain amount of money, these, these physical ailments don't matter. I anymore. done said on Twitter already, man, that they need to do a joint tour. Cool, I'm, I apologize. Jay Z and um and Kevin Hart. Oh Jay Z comes out and does four four four. That would make and, and all the Hart money. Comes out and does his show like in between. And all they do is just apologize to the woman for the whole show. That would make Bear all money. the money. Trust all, me. All the money. Kevin Hart stroke Jay Z show. A bit of comedy and then show off with, with a concert. You know, I apologize. Oh, that would be That's a good, a good idea, man. I know it's a good idea. Get get Don Don King on that. <laughs> Don King. And then maybe you might get uh, Beyonce and this uh, Kevin Hart's wife come out and do a show. What's, what's Kevin Hart's wife? What should you do? Man ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> that that one's been. Ah, you know what made it worse as well? That the wife, yeah, that same one was coming on Twitter. Was throwing darts at the ex-wife in it, mm. like like showing pictures of her engagement. I mean, of her wedding ring, mm. showing darts at the ex-wife. Like, look at my ring, blah blah blah. But the thing is, oh, did Hart's she mention the ex? The next ex-wife. She was throwing darts at the ex-wife. Why? 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 Because she was. She was. Because they've been going back and forth about stuff already. And she actually wrote like a a a a, 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 a something on Fred. Instagram and mentioned the woman's name. So the woman said, "Why are you mentioning my name?" And came back at her. I think like, that's I thought me and you I are think... cool now, or we're trying to be cool because of the kids. Why are you mentioning my name for? And then a couple of weeks later, now look what happens. I think that's kind of rude. I mean, for the mistress to try and be out there just throwing shade and but she's not the mistress; it. she's the wife now. Yeah, but and that's you, why she's throwing the, the shade. Yeah, but that's why she's throwing the shade because like she got upgraded basically. Yeah, but she this is what she was dashing out the shade. She dashed out. She was like, "I've been with Kevin for eight years." Blah blah blah. When technically, technically, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> technically, yeah, yeah. I remember now. They had only been broken up for six years or something. Mm. So which means that she was dating a man two years while the woman was there. And, mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not. This is uh, for me. I don't know. Uh, the woman has got. I don't. I don't agree with their morals there. But why do, there's bare why man do, that slept with women. That's yeah. that's bad man though. Why do other cultures and you know the odd few black men cheat? I don't know. Come again. You know why? Variety, why do yeah. other cultures and the odd few black men cheat? Why? Because black oh. clearly black men don't cheat. But obviously the, you have the bad people like Kevin Hart, the one you know. I mean, I'm gonna ask the question. The one in the million. <laughs> is it the excitement? Is it excitement? Um. It's greed, man. Or boredom. I'm, I'm asking questions. Excitement, I don't know boredom, to. and greed. It's greed. It's greed, excitement, boredom. Sometimes it is to do with the fact that you don't... Because f- men are running on ego, in it, And they don't feel like their ego is being stroked at home. So they go and stroke it somewhere else. Is, is a woman's pregnant, pregnant it, right? Is a woman's pregnant? Yeah. There's some women, when they're pregnant, do not um, engage in sex. So maybe he's missing out and he mm. wanted to get some. I don't even know if that... With somebody like him, it's just opportunity, I'm just, man. I'm just saying that that might be one of the reasons why he's gone out the door and done his thing. How long has he been seeing this this woman? Is he's it a one-off? He's been married off? for, a, for what, the, what, the bang. Yeah. I think it was just a one-off bang. I think that, it was in Vegas and he just banged him. That's what I'm saying. But so, if, she, if she had everything planned like that, she must have set him up somehow. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't think it would have been a woman that he's never seen before. Yeah, I don't think it's a one-off, um, man. Yeah. I think it's a woman that he may know of and he's been banging and someone has maybe given her the um heads up and say listen why don't you try and do this thing and she thought yeah why not apparently in the vi- in the video she was making calls he was like how is such and such to her her on oh. her phone to her mates oh yeah and so, plus, yeah, plus yeah. There were, uh, the li- i saw a little bit and a little bit i saw there was one of somebody another, was another there girl. On, yeah another yeah. girl was there on her, on her phone you know doing whatever she was doing he's so a fool he felt very comfortable in but the he space. was also high though wasn't he yeah but is but it, but is, is he, such a high profile he, celebrity that's why so he's like yeah, I got car blanche to do whatever I want. Yeah, but the thing is, is that is he really a fool though? Because yes, no, but the people are saying, and you're saying that he was high and he was drinking. And yeah, all but these he put things. himself in that position it's though. Yeah, oh, oh, well, do we know this? Because I don't know the ins and outs of the whole thing. You're going like, like the, the rape avenue. Well, yeah, but this is what I'm <laughs> no, saying no, I, because because if we, if he's, it, he's back like, for his boy, just like uh, Wahala <laughs> said, if, no, but Wahala said, if, what, what, keeping height alive. That if it was a woman then it may be a different thing entirely when drugs and drinking are involved. A woman could say, listen, I weren't about this. He took advantage of me. 
Did no, they take be, advantage of being him? Who, being who he is, such a high-profile celebrity, he has a responsibility to be um, cautious and careful. You're, you're victim-shaming him. Does he? No. Yeah, that's basically what you're doing. If, no, if, if you look at so he's his, a victim. his tweets and everything he does, he, yes. he claims he's <laughs> this, that, and the other, and a really good guy. I've, I've struggled so hard to get where I am. I'm going to be so humble. And What's da, 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 da. the difference between him and a woman? There's no difference between him and Are women. you saying so short men is... are just like women? Oh, my God. I was thinking of the short I, joke myself. I, did, I didn't Got say that. First. He's, he's, he basically, he was one penis in the room, right? Mm, yeah, somebody. So he was a minority, right? He was gang wow. raped. He was gang raped. Wow. And they weren't black either, so he was a double minority. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> well, what are they then? They were, I think, Puerto Rican. Oh, they look white. What? No, they not look white. Yes, 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 white. yes. I can show you the picture of of the the main person in charge. The main. If if I if <laughs> I had if I hadn't heard she was Puerto Rican, I would just assume she's. I didn't so think she was white. So this basically means that they were role. Have you seen the picture of her? Yeah, they were they were, they were role playing, and he was being Toby. That's this is no. Nah, I've seen. The Django that. Unchained. Yeah, I've seen it now. <laughs> nah, He's for the me, victim out here, for right? me, I'm not calling him the victim, and I'm saying that he put himself in that position. Because he went to go link them. No, but the thing he went to go link them. He went to go drink with them. He went to go and do that. He should so, come out and just so, say, "I'm a so, grown ass so, man." So, so, if so a, and he, so he, he, if a woman he, linked he, a man he and put herself that. in that position, but he has not come out and said that he didn't give consent for the penis. He's come out and said that he didn't allow maybe the, the video in to be happen. Maybe he's scared. Scared of what? Scared of uh, calling rape? Why? No, because, because he said he it, it will demasculate him. So. He's already short. What's the problem? Oh I'm my god! So being short demasculates. <laughs> oh, wow. This is I yeah. No, but he already yeah. said he cheated. So yeah, he admit that he did it. So he, he, he can't admit, really say he he's a victim. He put, he put himself in a bad situation, a situation where something bad was always going to happen. So he can't call <laughs> rape. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't. You don't realize the bad situation is going to happen before it happens. It's, in, it's only when it's happening you're like, ah, actually, this don't look too right. Listen, no, listen, listen, you listen, go listen, in a room listen. and assess the room. This could be a bad situation. Listen. I might be able to handle it. Though. No, yeah, no, but you, it's, again, if you're moving with Jesus, you um, will go into a situation and your intentions are not. You understand what I'm saying? It's only when you're in yeah, the but situation. But when Jesus leaves like, the room, you're in trouble. But yeah, but you, you're sitting there like, oh, okay, this don't look right. But no, go, I, I go can see how this. Going back to Stubbs' question, why did you think that he cheated? Why do you think, why do men cheat? I should ask a question about in this room. Men cheat for uh, 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 um, be a number of a reasons. plethora of reasons. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't say necessarily that it's a it's a hard and and fast stream that you can say yes, men cheat because of this. Men cheat for a plethora of reasons. Sometimes it's sport. Sometimes, it's the, sometimes from a man's psyche, they don't even actually feel like they're cheating. They're just banging somebody else. Like they're not, they're not committing. <laughs> they don't it, count it as cheating. Yeah, because they're not committing any of the resources that they would ex- um, uh, uh, um, associate with a relationship. You know so what I mean? Was, I fucked her. Yeah, and, and that's but it. I make love to you. So that was, if, I'm not, if I'm not paid, so basically we're saying, look, like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I put my dick in this woman, but I didn't take her out to eat. So technically, I don't feel like I've given her that a attention. Couple of pokes. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah, basically. Or I fingered her. Still. Like, like it basically, was just a tip, baby. Honest. He, 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 or I don't bust inside. He, he hasn't used the same um, emotional skill set that he does with his woman, with this other woman. So that that, that qualifies as the reasons why you think he's co- not you personally, yeah. but the person, the man says, you know what? I didn't go out of my way to do. Let's say that the, the girl just, you know, was on it. She jumped in his DMs, then don't, jumped on his dick. Yeah, mm. right. But he didn't have to do nothing about it. He it's just it, it, it just happened, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna now think, well, I didn't actually pursue this woman. The woman pursued me. She jumped on my things. It I, just I know this life. I know this life. Blah blah blah. I'm not really gonna feel like that's as much of a bad thing. I didn't really do nothing. So I have put no energy towards this. So if no energy is being put towards the cheating, it can be justified. Well, you could say, look, we like to talk about how God puts things in our paths, yeah. So <laughs> how can man not just been blessed with? with You're funny, bro. It's true. Stavros is not co signing any of all this. So wait, is cheating more an emotional thing than a physical thing? Well, it depends. Again, like there's again, there's a range in it. There's a range. There's like people tend to think that the act of infidelity is that you've said that this is your woman, you've had sex with somebody else, that's it. But it's a range. Like there's, I don't know. I don't know if women see it differently. Who but created that rule? I don't know. L- listen. What would you rather? Your woman goes clubbing, has way too many drinks, like she's slush, but she sees a guy that she's very attracted to and normally if she's sober, she would never done that with this person. That man speeches it. They have something very, like they fondle. Does a bit of stuff with his hands and they kiss in the car oh. until until it's like, oh, oh you know what? Saying, then her friend catches her and is like, what are you doing? Gets her out of the car, 
so bizarre enough and she's like, I can't believe I did that. Oh my, blah, 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 blah. Or, and she never does anything like that again. Yeah, you find this out. Or, or she has an emotional attachment with somebody at work over a series of months and years. They send messages to each other. They share things about each other's obvious, lives. Obvious. That that they don't, she doesn't tell you she's upset about stuff. She doesn't even tell you, she tells him. And they don't kiss. They don't hold hands. But there's an electricity between them. Did they have sexual discussions? Yes. Is everybody? If here there was no Game sexual Cards? discussion, they, I would have said fine. Is is everybody here? Watch, noise. So is everyone here watch House of Cards? Yes. No. God damn. Just answer the question then. Which Jesus, one would you prefer? Man. Your woman loves you. She has a drunken mistake. Fortunately, she's not penetrated by penis, but she is penetrated <laughs> with tongue and fingers. <laughs> All right. My and God then, and then she, and then she stops and. She admits it to it and she begs forgiveness. Or Them jackal moves. she is Could you imagine if he had she's under his undercover names? having like some sort of sub relationship with somebody else. No yeah, kissing, shit. no not even physical contact. Oh really? But the way they look at each other, the way they talk to each other, you know, she can't talk to him the same way. You walk into the room and then her conversation changes with him because she doesn't want you hearing what she's saying to him. Oh man! If she's having sexual, she's, she's not saying that. When I say sexual discussions, not to, about him, just could be about what you're, what you're doing with her. He didn't do oh, it. He, 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 you know, he's getting better, but you know, he's not doing that as well as he used to. I don't know, man. He's, not, he's, he's not giving me the attention that I'm he gave me. I'm a man. Is she playing with herself on camera? Wow! Sending it to him? No. <laughs> He has never seen her naked and not He's and not vice versa. Okay, so they never had actual sexual discussions about him and her. Yeah, sleeping no, together. they're not talking about it. They're so not talking they about, talk about you and they Potent- talk about other stuff that yeah. she feels important to her that she refuses like, yeah, to talk like to her you sex, about. Like maybe her sexual fantasy. You've asked your what? girl, like she, she <laughs> he might he might have asked what? her, what is it that you really like? You really like? I'll punch him in his throat. And uh, she's like, well, I want, I want, why are you asking my woman about her sex? I want my man to do this. I want him to eat, eat me out my reds and he wouldn't do that. What? He's like, well, you, what is wrong with you? I'm just, are you a dear? Huh? <laughs> you a dear? I'm just bringing up something that I know no, you, 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 you people wouldn't do it. Dear. So I'm just bringing it up. And he's like, well, okay, yeah, some men don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. And this, that's the kind of conversation they have. Them, they're easy. It sounds like a friend zone, man, honestly, but to be honest, but still. You could look at it like that. Yeah, but the thing is, the emotional is much more painful than the physical. Is that you believe? Yeah, it depends on what. If Which the, one would you prefer? See, because now you've taken it with all that sex stuff. I would still, I would still prefer that than the. She somebody, has feelings for this. Person. Somebody touching my woman. I don't want my next man to touch my. I'm a proper bush man. I do not want a next man to touch my woman. Don't touch her. Right, so you, so you want physically the emotional? But he touched her soul and her mind. But I'm not gonna lie to you. She enjoys. The, she enjoys being around this person at the more than you. At the beginning, it came to the point where he was basically saying this man was helping me out because he was hearing all of the stuff that maybe I don't want to be getting involved in. <laughs> if you're that kind of man, then it could be deemed that way, I guess. <laughs> but if you, like, if you're upset about people at work and all that stuff, yeah, you they, go that for, they go for coffee. Yeah, the cussing and all that stuff. Yeah, take all of that. He's her girlfriend. Yeah, if you like a a, a friend friend, then fine. But when you're now talking about sexual this and blah, 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 and maybe stuff about us that she's not coming to tell me, then I'll be a bit yeah, more upset. She is not talking about having sex with him. And, but, yeah, uh, but she's um, still talking about sex. Why is she opening her mouth to talk about sex? Basically, her, B- her BFF is male. You no, it's not because there's other stuff that's involved that you wouldn't talk to your BFF I'll, like. I'll, you know, I've got a second question that's going to splinter off from that then because that's very important what you just said. But you, you would rather that you didn't get, the woman didn't get touched? I don't want my woman touched by another man. I do Guys, not want her touched. Both any, of them should get anybody, get, anybody she's going to get... Anybody got I'm going to probably break up with her for though. Anyone got answer? Go answer, go answer, go answer. I, I prefer her to be in a second scenario than the first. Okay. Because so, the first one to me oh. says that she... Um, irresponsible. She's irresponsible. She doesn't know herself and I'm... I don't know if it's the Jamaican side of me, but I very much believe that people should know how to hold their corner. And in terms of liquor, it, in terms of anything, like you should know yourself enough that even if you're, you've drank too much, you should know, okay, you know what? I've actually drank too much. I'm moving wavy. I'm moving sloppy out here. Let me remove myself from the situation. So mm. people, people can't make mistakes. No, no people you've can. never made a drunken mistake. People can make mistakes, but don't make it on my watch, man. The, uh, the, there's certain mistakes that you're going to make in it. Don't make it on my watch. You get me? Make it on your own watch. Wolfie. Under the dog. What if you find out under the dog? I'm not sure, bro. (laughs) It's hard, man. Because she could potentially fall in love with this guy. What if he was shorter than you? (laughs) I don't know where these short jokes are coming from. (laughs) But um, she could potentially 
fall in love with this guy and the whole emotional attachment thing I do not like because the one night madness has come and it's gone. It's never coming back again. Whereas you never know, bro. It might be another band the one night madness. Well, I'm with, giving you in, the scenario. In the well, scenario that we're in, it's one night and he said, Stavos said it's never gonna happen again. Whereas this person that you're with five, potentially six days a week eight hours of the day, so potentially more time than you, one time they could drop their books at the same time. I I have told you they are not going to physically touch each other. So they never, okay, but then. But emotionally, they are interlocked. Yeah, but you you can't take that away. Simple Simon's locks. You can't take that away. They could potentially fall in love. You just choose, man, just choose. Fall in love and what? Don't touch each other. Do you like the Jews? I don't want none of them, mate. (laughs) That is the name of the most gangster mixtape ever. Do it like the juice. <laughs> I'm not picking any of them. Wow. You, got, you got an answer before I, I got to the splinter of question? I, I couldn't handle an emotional affair, so I'd prefer the first one. I'm, I'm glad you just answered quickly. All right. I missed, uh, sorry, um, Wahala said he, the, the thing that pushed him over the edge with the, uh, or gave him the biggest issue with the male friendship or whatever relationship thing, the emotional thing, was that she was discussing sexual preferences or her part of her sexual life with this dude. And I was thinking that, because we mentioned BFF, best friend, or what, is it best friend forever? Yes. yes. All right. I don't really have too much of an issue if my missus, if the dude was there before I got there, is having talks about sex with her male... Not Your everybody. sex. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to. No, okay, we're married now, so maybe not. Oh, Just know. say no. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about it. If your woman came back to tell you, I told Kunle about us, you dicking me down yesterday. Even if you was giving her the good, the good stuff, mm. you would not be happy. Why are you talking to him about that for? No, I'm not saying I'll be happy, but I think that there's just some space you have to give your partner. It's like you, no. you have no. friends, you can talk. Talk to your girlfriends about me and let them know in it. But why are you going to go and let man know? So why do you want her to talk to her girlfriends about you? I didn't want her. I said, if you're going to, let them know. Talk to them and let them know, innit? Uh, that promotion. your service will. You better talk to them. Pro- uh, could you d- uh, be cool with your woman talking to a man about sex? Is he gay? He's not gay. No. Or is it, or if he's gay, it's fine. I don't care, man. Sure. It, I, I don't. I would care. I would care if he was gay or not gay. I'm not splitting. I don't like this thing because suddenly people are gay. They're not man, you know. They're man. No, don't go and talk to the next man about my business at all. Yeah, we we're discussing gay men that call uh, black women bitch as a term. Any of, woman bitch, a, a term of endearment, like it's cool now. Just because because I'm a, a gay man, I can say bitch yeah, to a woman. You can say you do anything. Mm. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that before, anyways. But I don't so, like these scenarios, man. I'm not comfortable. It's, with it's it harsh, isn't it? Don't like them. You're just gonna leave the woman. Uh, yeah, I'll forget them. Forget the woman, and I'll move on. It like like seems like too much grief. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the idea of touching and then the emotional attachment. I can't choose me. If like, I was to talk to my BFF and it was a girl about sex, I don't think my woman would appreciate that. I need to ask my woman and see what she would say. Do you? I'm, do I'm, you, in, I'm interested in what my wife would think about this. Do you think that your woman would, would appreciate that? Simple. I'm not something I've actually thought about. To be fair, so you think that? Okay, you got girlfriends as well. <laughs> do you think your missus would be cool with you talking about your sex with them? Will my missus be calling who? Would you be, think your missus would be cool if you were talking about your sex with her? I don't know. I've never thought about it. I, I don't know. On a stair face, I don't know. You think now. Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> your woman, you know your woman, innit? You, you know it's a yes or a no. I, I don't know what my woman thinks. You don't know what your woman would think? No, no, not really. Because my woman is not jealous at all. Exactly. It's got nothing to do with jealousy. Of course it, of course right, it is. Of course it is. No, because, because you're talking about her. You're not talking about... It's not just you you're talking about, you know. Now yeah. you're going no, to go no, talk about no, her no, sex. Okay, yeah, right. But if you're let, talking let's, about let's, her, let's, whoever you're talking about her to, they're going to start comparing each other. And no woman wants another woman to be thinking about her. It's like, oh, you're not that good. True, I'm true. better than you. I hear what you're saying. How can they know if they're better than her? No, because but, no, you're but talking that's what women about do. her. Yeah, but so she just decided that her sex is that good. Her vagina is that flingable. Could happen. I, I actually agree it's with what you're saying. Wahala, you know. Security. I don't think that any... Body, let alone any Security. woman, is gonna feel um, happy with their man or their woman talking about their sex with another person. Okay, no, I know, another woman. I don't think and, that, and, I don't and, think and, a woman would be and, that bad if you spoke to your man. Them, you know. And and on top of that, 
I don't think it's got anything to do with jealousy. I just think it's the principle. Yeah. Don't talk about my business, especially my intimate business with another person. A person or man? Both. So I'm, your girl can't talk to another girl about her... Uh, about my intimacy, no. Lies. Mr. Wolf is... What? Mr. Wolf is... Show them the selfie. So hold on, hold on. Let me get Show it. them the selfie. Let me get this right. Let me Let get them this right. see it. You, you, you find a woman oiled. you're happy with, you Show settle them. down, you trust her friends, because right? I think a lot of us vet our, friend, our females' friends. Now, the ones that she's talking to that you know she might let her in, in, innermost feelings out with, you trust these women. You don't think they've got big mouths. You think they're sensible, blah, 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 blah. You, you are selling your, your... Or you don't want your woman to ever discuss anything about her sexual feelings and thoughts anymore with these women. I mean, they used to do it before. But now she's going out with you. It's like, you have to kind of like cut that bit of, of your life now. Only me you can talk to. You can't talk to your, no boys. You can't talk to no girls. You can't talk to your family. It's, I'm part of your life now. If you want to talk about them feelings, you talk to me. Oh, you talk about my dick to me. <laughs> you don't talk to your mama. You don't talk to your sister. You don't talk to your pastor. In fact, talk right. Talk to the dick. Don't even talk to me in the face. Who told you you could go out? <laughs> <laughs> I did like that, that one, dick. though. The pastor, you talk to the pastor, innit? No, no, the but, um, we, bang. but but but, but <laughs> exactly. we've touched on this. I'm not sure if it was actually on a podcast or it, whether it was when we wasn't recording. We have said in the past in conversation that you do not discuss your intimacy with your woman with your boys. It's just as simple as that. You get me? Now, let's just go with a scenario where this is just a scenario. This isn't a real life one that's happened to any of the man dip. But let's just say that there's a woman that you've been messing around with and you have spoke about her. You get me? You've been saying, oh yeah, she's good in bed. It was on the she... podcast, yeah. Was it? Yeah. Okay. yeah but is your you know... actual woman now though? No, let me finish, yeah? Let me land. So you've been doing all these things. You're talking about, you know, the head that she has given. Yes. The, that she's uh, uh, squirted. She's done all of these wonderful yes. things. You get me? Yes. But then you come to the boys and you say, boy, me and her now a couple, you know. It ends. It ends there and then. Everything has got to vanish from the memory. Everything that Even you've seen, everything you've seen, everything you've heard, pictures, videos, it goes. You pretend like you don't know her. What's her name exactly. again? Exactly. Who are you going out with now? Exactly. <laughs> Trina. Yeah, man. I don't know Trina. Yeah, fam. man. That same kind of machine that that, that they use on um, Men in Black. Men in Black. Men, Men in Black. Just erase it from erase. the memory. No, it's, it's, it's a fake erase. Yeah, but we, we pretend like you like, never said anything. Exactly. But that's with the man them. I think the girls them is a completely different it situation. I don't, I don't think they follow them kind of. I think there. yeah, man them is different. Girls, I think they still talk about the sex still. Like they'll tell the next girl, yeah. Uh, What's her name? And you can still do that. As a man, oh, you can still. Oh, no, you're, you're assuming though, that's what you. I, be, you know. I think. Right? I think that women. I think men uh, can still say to the next man and say, "Look, yeah, yesterday man did the thing in it. Yeah, you get me. You can say something like that in it. You talk about yourself. Yeah. You don't talk about the woman. Yeah. You'd be like, oh yeah, yeah. A couple of days ago, did throw down. I was happy in it. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. not saying man that you it, choked man did the leg shape in it. Man did the leg you're, shake in it. You're not saying that you choked her. You're not saying that you put it in her. You're not saying that she swallowed. She, you're not saying Ooh. that she asked me to come on her face and her tit. You're not. You're not, uh, you're not saying all of those Mr. things. Oh, you today. get me. You, buff, you could <laughs> say. You could say. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. man, man got his leg over last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to say, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, after that as well. You have to, after anyway, look yeah, at what yeah, Halla yeah. though, man. Man's walking with a big, broad smile. I can tell that he got his leg over. You like, get me? More than my leg over, I got cramp. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> That's happened in the Just past. Just call me Lexington Steel. Yeah, you get me? yeah you but I think a girl will say things. stuff like, I don't think women will. They you do. Know. Girls will say, look, he gave me the thing yesterday. Women blatantly. Talk, oh, I can see my girl. Look how she's walking though. You know, the thing you got you. I women mean, talk more than men. And the funny thing you. is about when women talk, if you walk in the room, the girlfriend that she's talking to will look at you like, hmm. You have to remember, women's yeah. ego is big as well, you know. They want their men to be looked at as the primal alpha in that group. So mm. when this one's saying, Drogo, oh, proper simple, Drogo. simple was giving it down like, the next day, and that one will be saying, well, Stan was also giving it down. I think and Mr. Wolf was in there, I under the dog. I think that they put the little toe in the water in terms of the di- the discussion, but I don't think that they go in detail. The I don't know if they're going detail. I don't know if they're open saying about into the deep end, bro. Talking about the vein in his dick. I don't know if they're doing all of that. Saying. The vein. They'll touch. <laughs> You'd be surprised, you know. That is like a. a has he got the face? Oh my god! <laughs> I think at the beginning when they get the first dick, the maybe <laughs> maybe at the first time they get the dick. They may go into it. They may say, in the same way that like, man them do, like, what happened yesterday? Boy, 
Man did bang me out wild. Boy tied dick to the face. Man lifted me up and put the pom pom straight to the mouth. Yeah, but, is that, but is that before you're in a relationship with this person? I don't know. But girls are in a, some some girls are in a relationship as soon as they see you, bruv. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> but what I'm saying is that when I, when I you're seeing you. someone, when, when you're kind of doing a thing with a lady, H- him you, down, you, yeah. you know, you may be sexually active with her and then you may have discussed the sexual um, intimacies that you've had with this woman. And then all you need to do is just drop the line. Boy, we're going steady now. Oh, what, what? Oh, what, what, what? You're saying that's, what, is that your girl now? Yeah, 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 it's my girl. Then that's it. You can't talk like there's that There's some no disrespectful more. men, though, like, that, that still go like that. Maybe there's talk. some crews out there that go deep and chat and nonsense, but we don't do it here. Yeah, but I, I think that women chat, man. I, f- I don't give them the benefit of the doubt at all. I think penis stories are getting dashed around all over the place. And I think penis pits get shown as well. That's why they get so like, upset when they break up as friends because they've they've, they've told details that maybe they shouldn't have. Mm, like your girl, you, trust me, your girl don't tell you nothing. They tell their girl everything, everything. I've, they know about we've every all heard, mishap. We've all heard the stories of because I hear what you're going, but for me, it's not when you're in a proper relationship. We've heard the stories of you know a guy and a girl being in a certain relationship. The girl has told her virgins about how good he is. They split up. The girl's friends, who's heard the news, are now getting a little bit close. Oh, what are you saying? Let me, let's be, let's it's scandalous when that happens. Man. Yeah, it is very That's scandalous. evolution. Let me, let, me, let me give it like an analogy. It's like, evolution. Like your boyfriend uh, at the time, maybe when they get to husband and wife, it might change. But your boyfriend and girlfriend, they're more like your recently closed tabs basically, on the internet, right? <laughs> Whereas your man, them is your internet history, right? They know everything. They know where you've been. Look at they this know what you, you did. did. Did you just come out of this, off the top of your head just now? Yeah, just now. It's gangster. Yeah, I, appreci- I appreciate you sometimes. Yeah. I, appreciate but, you. Yeah, I don't they, like you. I don't like you. Your no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It must be known. I don't like you. But I appreciate you sometimes. That was very They're good. your was internet good. history and your partner, at the t- it's just your recently closed tabs. So they, they may catch you on a porn hub they may catch you <laughs> on a, uh, I don't know, catch you on a Barclays Bank thingy about, but the other one's got the dirty, disgusting things that you did. It's got the Facebook messages. It's got the WhatsApp messages. It's got the Pornhub. It's got everything. It's got the torrents even. From 2015. Yeah, exactly. All there. And beyond. So if you lose one of them, what category? <laughs> <laughs> if you lose one of them, one of them guy with a whole heap of information more than the other, yeah. Nah. Uh, animals and toys. <laughs> <laughs> and toys. Yeah, uh, uh, who knows? You like midgets? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, therefore, Mr. Wolf has a chance. All right, so Piers Morgan you has yet. Bear <laughs> <Bare> grenades. Shots. <laughs> are us. Drop mortar can I, can I ask a question? Go ahead. When will I grow up? <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir. Can I grow some more? That's what you get for this big gap. Oh that was, my god! I, I appreciate that one as well. No, no I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Mr. Wolf ain't even that shoot. Guys, can't really say what he's saying. Bastard! <laughs> you bastard! There, fucking bastard! <laughs> anyway, um, no, no. Do you know what? I know that you wanted to touch on peers, yeah. But I just want to ask a quick question and see what the man they were saying, yeah. Uh, Lukaku. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Lukaku is a I think he's the most expensive British football player. And this is not based on football for those that don't like football chat, yeah? He's the most expensive football player. But the Man United fans, his fans, have been chanting this thing about him in appreciation to him. So they've been... I can't remember what the chant is, but they refer to his big wood. Yeah? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find the chart while you're chatting. Find the chant, yeah? So basically, his fans have been chanting Romelu Lukaku scores or goals, blah, 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 with his big fat dick or something along those lines. So they've been sanctioned by the FA and they, I think they're going to get a fine, something along those lines. And they're saying it's racism. So the stereotype is that all black men got big dicks. So my question is to the man... And, and don't cheat. And don't cheat, yeah. All blacks don't cheat. <laughs> So my question is like women do. My question is, is there such thing as a good stereotype? <laughs> is there such thing as a good stereotype? A good stereotype. Here's the lyrics, by the way. Ramelu Lukaku, he's a uh, Belgium scoring genius. He's got a twenty four inch penis, scoring all the goals. Uh bell into his toes. Yeah. 
Bellend? Yeah. As in yeah. Bellend is the... The bulls. It's, it's, no, it's the... Uh, it's the uh, yeah, Bellend is the your tip of your... Oh, dick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bellend to the toes. So they're basically referring, you're black and you're a big dick, in it. So in terms of the stereotypes that we have around, you know, men cheat, uh, women are gold diggers. There are such a good um, thing as a, as a good stereotype. If you want to own it... Give me an example. African and Caribbean students in the UK, when they're good, are above average. Is that a stereotype? Or just, it's, it's, it's just facts. It's, it's just facts. I think that's a fact. But I, the average believes most stereotypes, most, not some, most, have some element of... The, the seed for that stereotype was a truth. But black men with black dicks, is that really... I well, don't, it's funny I, because if you speak to black women, black women, some there's some black women that like don't date outside of um, thing. They can give you horror stories about black men that have had um, incredibly <laughs> disappearing penises. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I do not think that incredibly disappearing. I don't think that not, uh, every black man's got a big thing. Obviously, that's not uh, the case. Uh, stereotypes is not for everybody, yeah, but it's meant to be the majority. But the reason why that stereotype exists is because um, n- globally, the trend they do like penis size by nation the trend is that the african nations have on average like the average male penis size is uh point however much bigger than this other side of the world Uh, that's what it is it doesn't have to be most black men it just has to be more if it just has to be more of a percentage than the rest don't understand white people's obsession with dicks man or white men's obsession with dicks i don't get it they love it they go around they do man they go around drawing it on places everything oh I don't uh, know about that. As a they do. I don't understand. I've never understood it. Speak to Dr. Francis West <laughs> Krause again and she'll tell you. I'm obsessed with it. Always obsessed with the male form. The black male form and and the fact that they've got big penises and are meant to be uh, virile. Yeah, oh, so so with, let me just get this right. You're saying, did you say white people? White men, yeah. You think white men are obsessed with the penis? With black male penis. They talk the, a lot oh, about the, black the, male penis. With black penises as well. Yes, we like to talk about it. They like to be thinking about it. These look. They trust me. Have you never had a white person talk to you about your penis? No, I have. Have you never had a white person <laughs> not, not mention it in the stereotype about way. your penis? Not that I can remember. No, you, you bet you got a big one down there. I'm like, what the fuck, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I think you got a bit more comfortable with some people than nah, just to say you. Didn't. No, it's true though. I think I think that kind of conversation is freely available amongst uh, Caucasians. They just have no problem talking about dicks. I don't think Indian and man, them. Indian men don't talk about them. Do black them. men not talk about how big their woods are? No, not really. What am I going around talking about my dick for? Black men have. Come on. No, they have have, but I don't go around talking. We're not talking about you specifically, but I'm just saying in the conversation in, with in each other, com- in conversations, not our crew. I'll, maybe I'll be honest not, with you. I, I walk around with the assumption that you already know. <laughs> <laughs> that you already know. I'm swinking. That's the that's the way I walk around. <laughs> yeah. Well, like next the same did joke. It, yeah. Did you ever hear about the Vieira story? Vieira, what happened? So there was a story I was telling my sister about this actually, my sister and her husband today, about um Anelka did an autobiography and he said that in his autobiography that um one time he did something at Arsenal and Vieira got really, really vexed. He said he, he saw the anger in his eyes and knew something was gonna happen. I think they were sitting down in the shower or whatever, and then Vieira just came up to him and slapped him in the face with his dick. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> man dick slapped him <laughs> no, that's, that's, not, that's not funny that's not even man, appropriate dick not slap, slapped not bitch slap, him dick slap he whipped him with his dick in the face I'm not being funny I'm not sure about that I don't in know, the showers I, of I Arsenal don't know, I don't know what I would do in a situation but in my mind principally I, I'd want to execute that guy but then why would you write about it why would you go and tell the public about man's dick slapped that's you in the Anelka face that's what Anelka said that says yes, something about Anelka <laughs> that says something about Anelka as far as I'm concerned but in, the, in that culture of football I think they're just like that they just don't mind doing all that foolishness. No, you can't. That's a violation, boy. No, no, no. Man nah. slapped you in the face. I'm with getting his upset. Dick. I'm getting upset thinking about it. Which one's worse, that or the the, the cutting of the dreads? Oh, fuck me, Jesus! How you get dip slapped though? Nah, I don't know. You're sitting down, innit? If you're sitting down in the shower, I've, man, I've, I've heard of a back slap. I've heard of a pimp slap. The, the, the question is, the question is, I've even heard of an question is, yeah. Are you telling me none of you, man? Slap your dick around a girl's face. Yeah, that's around a girl's face, but not around a, a yeah, man's, man's face. Why are you surprised? Man's face. She knew it was coming as well. No, Why are you me, changing it? Let me let me ask you a question. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. question that the caveat of that question. Yeah, you are in the shower. This is about to happen. The dick's gonna slap you. Do you grab the dick 
Or do you let it slap you in the face? <laughs> you know what you do? How did we get let to me this? Tell no, you. no, you've got those two options. Don't caveat it. Nah, you bro. grab the dick or you get it slapped in your face. What are you going to do? I'm doing a Mayweather, mate. I'm not getting hit. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One time stuff. But anyway, let's go back to the topic, man. About stereotypes, man. It's not talking about I dislike, men. I dislike Wahala so much, bro. No, but it's true. you got to have that. Op- Dude, that's going through your mind. Fuck you, man. When that thing is swinging your way, you're thinking, do I block? Or do I just take it in the face? You're going too far, bigger. You're going too far. What about next man's things? Stereotypes are there. You have to combat them, I guess, if, if you're not bad at life and they're sent in you. The negative always is if a stereotype has been put on you and... Uh, if it's a negative one, if they're expecting you to fulfill it and then you feel you have to sometimes work twice as hard to not fulfill it or something like that, or even if it's a positive one. So if you're a Chinese and they're expecting you to be great at science and math or something in the, in the place and it's like, well, how come you're not as good as, you know, the rest of your people are? Mailing. So it's that's like, pressure. Yeah, so this is a pressure. And unnecessary. Everybody pressure. else is doing black, this. Black people are late. And you're expecting more from me. No, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> black people. Well, you're, Pot well, kettle. Today. Huh? Pardon? Today. Okay, so let's do a. Do, do you want to get into it? No, <laughs> do you you're the one to pull it. Up. Let's do statistics, <laughs> isn't it? All right then. All right. Cool. I think I'm not late more often than not, but he's getting a lot better. He's now. not a lot better. You're getting a lot so better. What, listen, look, why are you always judging the man of his past? Oh, you, but you can talk about his height. All right, cool. No, yeah. That's not. Uh, that's that's present, isn't it? That's okay. not his past. <laughs> <laughs> he's presently short. <laughs> no, wow. he he's about saying his past, that present you, and future. Yeah, you can get over being late, but. You can't get you can't get over being sure. Yo, you can't yo, get over Mr. a lot of things. Emphasis on yeah, the word wolf. over, Mr. Wolf. Let you, me can't, just, you can't get over the crib that let, I put my daughter in. Let me just spot you for something. <laughs> in it, in it. It's too in, hard to get over. When my pisses yeah, you off, you just yeah. you just put the ba- the toilet gate on there, in it. So you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You stay there. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know where all of this has come you're from. Getting you know? it, you're, I, I don't. you're getting it because of Kevin, man. <laughs> Kevin did it. Going anywhere. Stay there, Mr. Wolf. You've been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Talk, it? That's, why, that's why he don't cheat. House. That's why he don't cheat. He's woman that puts the toilet gate up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave the house. Childproof the house. I've left you a sandwich. I'm going to work. <laughs> you don't leave there. <laughs> I'm not back in that one. Oh dear. <laughs> that's harsh, man. That's harsh. <laughs> you man finish. That was too far. Oh dear. God, too Let far. Let me know when you finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm finished. finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. And then, and then I'm this finished. boy can talk about his. Uh, Many rivers to flow. Uh, yeah, because we're um, running. Running so high, man. All right. So. <coughs> Choke. Fucker. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Wasn't me that said the joke, man. He got it last week, man. Mild green, fairy, fairy liquid. liquid. All right. Alpha Phi Sisters, a sorority group from the University of... Have you been of... in the sink? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to ask this. A sorority group from <laughs> the University of yes. New Hampshire had a video of them dancing and singing to the chorus of Kanye West's Gold Digger in which they uh, seem to be happy to proclaim that they are indeed uh, not fucking with any uh, broke niggas. Uh, so are they what, yeah? Yes. Oh, dear. Yes. It's about, so this is the point. It's not just the reason that uh, Piers Morgan wrote an article, which was called uh, Don't Get Angry About a Bunch of White Girls Singing Niggas, Blame Kanye and the Rap Industry for Putting It In Their Songs in the First Place. Because I don't think pe- many people have read this article. Who's that? But yeah. It's from the Daily Fell. But he wrote a post promoting the article that was about to come and it was should and this was a Twitter so he's put this out a tweet out should white girls be allowed to sing niggas new column posted very soon and that's what caused the problem nobody even read the article I was going to read it I haven't even got around to reading it myself um, but the question was that the, the premise of it is if black people make songs put the n-word in it in Kanye West's example actually promote tell people in the concerts you can sing it you're allowed to sing it which they've done we, we uh, described that before why are you getting upset when people are just singing this song and why are you calling them racist because you can be racist and not use the word the n-word at all or you can be singing a song that you love has the n-word in it and just happen to use the word as well and not be racist which i actually agree i agree with. i don't think you should be saying a word but a white person singing a song that they love and use singing along with that n-word that doesn't automatically make them racist i don't think it does anyways so what do you guys think because piers morgan was getting it 
hardcore. I think on social media. I think Pez Morgan's a fucking dickhead. He said that from the heart. Yeah, I do. I really think he's a dickhead. And I think if somebody was to slap him with their penis, it would be deserved. He supports Arsenal, doesn't he? Yeah. You said, should, you, should, should do it. you said he didn't want to talk about Piers Morgan. So you, I've given you a separate angle. But I wanted to insult him while I had the chance. Yeah. But um, I don't know. With that, that particular question, it always begs belief why people are obsessed with putting in their songs in the first place. I don't think that black people should put it in their songs. I don't think black people should say it, let alone white people. I think both of them shouldn't say it. So I can't now go and say just because they put it in a song that the white man should say it because I don't think they should put it in the song in the first place. I don't think that they should. I think just because of the context and the cultural uh, understanding behind it, they shouldn't say it. And I think that they should potentially just use the radio edit that they know and love and just do it that way. Or just shut up when you go into a concert. You don't have to scream, scream the lyrics. You can just enjoy yourself without having to speak the lyrics. You have to. But the the thing was, the, the people did an upright at university. They wanted uh, some sort of reprimand. Rep, 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 they put reprimand. it on video. Though. Uh, them not knew what they were doing. They, they recorded it. it got, I don't know how it got out. But they did it on purpose. They weren't like hiding it. They were recording themselves partying. And then uh, the university said they're not taking any action um, because they don't count that as a racist thing. There's a bunch of girls singing and dancing in their frat house like, what's, what's the big deal I don't know if I I, I don't know if I what, disagree or agree with that everybody that says the n-word is racist is, I, yeah, I, are, that they, is, are they all racist because they're all singing Cause Wait, it, go on. for me this is this is one of them situations where it depends on who's committing the act um, and I'm not talking from my own point of view I'm just talking generally like, it depends on who's committing the act like, so let's say for example um, you were to recite a speech that Hitler said even if the speech itself wasn't talking about um, anything racist, the fact that you're quoting a Hitler speech would then automatically put you in the fray as being a racist. Them putting it on in video. your eyes. Them putting it on video. I'm not talking about. I said. I said. It's not talking about from my point of view. I'm talking about how we view things socially. And if you put that on video, they would say that you're a, a racist. A Nazi, they'll call you. Yeah, and all you're doing is quoting, quoting something that somebody else has said. Uh, it depends I, if you're quoting it and, and with that with a belief behind it. So if they said, I believe what Hitler said, which was blah, 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 then people might say, yeah, you're fascist or a, or a Nazi. But so, if you just say, Hitler said this. So then, yeah, but I don't think you can get away with Hitler said this. I think that you would still be viewed in the same way. And with these girls, were they saying it passionately? Were they saying passionately that they don't want no broke niggas? With all their heart. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. Like for me, we... With all their soul. This this is this is one of the foolish with things. With all their mind. This is one of the foolish things for me, with all right? their white power. Because it's a it's a it's a weird scenario because you, you've given the ammunition to people, they're using the ammunition, and you're getting upset that they're using the ammunition. He, he's not them. getting upset. No, no, I'm saying I'm saying the, the general public and okay. the out of, like you, you've given the am, am, ammunition and the am, 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 am. <laughs> So for me, like if you've <laughs> already handed them half the ammunition and they use it, and then you want to be upset at them for using the ammunition that you've handed them, it's a bit weird. It's like. Do you, reckon King, do you reckon King Kardashian calls him nigger in the bed? Probably. Probably. I bet Chris calls him that every day. Probably. Chris, Chris like, he d- he's probably under some abuse that we don't know about. And he, know, take, I, he takes I, it as banter. I feel like there's more coming. What do you, you mean? You haven't landed yet. No, so I, my view on this thing is... I'm getting Are these t- women racist or not? I'm getting tired of this conversation. I'm getting tired of it. because Which is, which is the conversation? Because you've this, confused me now. This conversation about this N-word business. Well, I'm getting tired of it because on one hand... Songs are still coming out every single day that have the word in it, and you got one section of people trying to claim it, and then they get upset when somebody sings a song. Like if someone, oh, I don't. And I don't. a lot of Americans they don't care that white people say it. You know, they like it depends on how they say it. It depends on what it is. I don't give a shit about whether they care about how they say it. They're all stupid. All of them. All of them. Yes. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Nonsense. Um, <laughs> listen, I got to big up the barber shop, you know, again because in our barber shop group on whatsapp we had a conversation relating to this for about two days and when i say two whole days it probably went on for two whole days of people talking about this very subject um my point of view was um i don't think anybody should be saying that word at any time period let alone in songs so just like what not uh, even if you're dating a white woman and in bed no time bruv <laughs> Okay, Did you hear about I'm, that guy? I'm, I'm just checking. Time. Just, just, when you're ready, I'm gonna oh, hear about yeah. the guy that the guy that who, who said about his wife was sexually abusing him and calling him the N word yeah. during their relationship. Yeah. So Forward. so 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 basically, 
no time. I don't care whether you're a rapper, singer or whatever. I don't think it should be used. I mean, even um, we were referencing Jay-Z in our discussion. He brought out a recent album and in his first single, he says the song a lot of the time. And he said it, why? Maybe to make a point. No, he just says it. He said that problem with even Oprah had a discussion with him like why do you say it and he just says I think that he's like one that's the worst thing I, I, I dislike about Jay Z he's yes. he's one he's on the camp of he's trying to uh, what do they say when they do with the word reclaim claim, it reclaim the reclaim, nonsense yeah. I, I mean the, 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 sorry um, no go on uh, uh, Webs by the way uh, Webs yeah I forgot your name I know <laughs> short man syndrome Jermaine short man syndrome yeah. Yeah. you got short attention about. span that's <laughs> short height shut up shut oh. up my <laughs> god shut up your mouth there uh uh-uh. uh it can be this. Man, I but, don't but, have to bite you in the chest. But, 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 <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> I'm going to just lose button. my trailer for now, but. No, say what you say. Sorry. Uh, sorry, that's sorry. Uh, sorry. The thing I hate sorry. more, sorry, I'm going to adjust no, it. Because like, it's been grabbing me. The thing I hate more than these Americans doing this nigga, nigga, nigga business oh, and trying to try promote it I is know. these fucking English people that are doing oh, it as sorry. well. Now. I thought he was going to say the F's. No, yeah, the reason why the, and the, the English people upset me even more because at least with the American black people we can say they've had a, a, a period of history in that particular location where the relevance of this word is more uh, what's the word I'm looking for is more prevalent prevalent yeah yeah but then you've got people that are in the UK who are first or second generation African or Caribbean or first generation African and Caribbean and they're using the word like in every other sentence as well and I'm thinking you, how do you it's in the lexicon now though yeah but, yeah, but it's not how it's d- in the books that the stupidity they of books. that it's in, it's in the music they, they see it's in the films they watch exactly and it's the stupidity part of, the of that is that it, they follow one from what America gives them so it's being fed to them but then at the same time they're saying oh why have you got an American accent we're British and then you start using oh, I fucking hate it man I can't, I can't take it anymore man. because we've been taken in by Americans that's why and my, my take on all of this is and it may sound bad, but it serves you a lot right. Because people have been using the N-word Who's negatively against... I'm talking about black people. People have been using the N-word negatively against us. And then we decide to take it and try and reclaim it and change it. And then use it in um, a way of greeting your fellow man. I mean, greeting man with that, you know. Yeah, and... and but then when... when they, some when, of them call their children that. Yeah, but then when white people take it on board and do it, you get in an uproar. Yeah, because it's I'm. Stupid. Yeah, but this is what they're saying is that uh, we have claimed. I'm not agreeing with it. Just let me land. They're saying that we've now claimed the <laughs> word. We can use it how we want, and you cannot. So, so on on the no, basis. We gave you the word in the first place. Yeah, well, on on the basis of these girls, just going back a little bit, um, I think I'm with Simple Simon with this because they knew what they were doing when they're doing the video and they're singing the song because the edited version is. Um, and you miss when you're broke, 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 yeah. So why aren't they doing that? Because that's, they're, that's they're, not the one that was playing. Well, they're saying the exact words, and they could have got the edited version. Hold on, to minimize the um uh, the uproar, they know it's a sensitive word. And for me, regardless of um who you are, where you're from, what song you're singing, I don't think you but, should. But say Terrell, it. are you two actually it? agreeing with what? Because you said you're agreeing with him. I don't get it. You you what? You said they knew what they were doing. What were they doing? They were saying the word. Yeah, and then what? They wanted it to get out there and there for there to be uproar. Yes. I think they wanted it uproar. Of course they did. Why? 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 Because it's f- every, we live in a world where everybody wants to be known. The same way that Prez Mugan put it, he put it there do, for their uproar. We do live in a world where everybody wants to be a So Why is it out? I don't know. I don't know. Because they wanted it to be out. They wanted it to be viral. They wanted everybody to be talking about them. Exactly. So it might have been like a freshers week for them thing, and they were just partying. Was, One woman happened to maybe she put it on Snapchat. It maybe it was a Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah, it, could, it could have been yeah. something simple as that. So all the people in the background might have not, even, your pussy. not even been known that they if were being please. recorded. So you're saying this, all this day, 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 day. Maybe it was just one person. Yeah, but, but you know, you yeah, know? but even if that is the case, I don't think that. Kanye West saying a song or Jay Z saying a song gives them the right to say it. I think what that if Kanye West says, I want you to say it. It's I not just Kanye West. He, says. he and, might be their man that they're banging. And the thing is, is, is that what uh, Webb said is that we, you know, and they, and all of that. Kanye West don't represent me. Ka- Kanye West doesn't represent the black people yeah, around the world. And what I understand is that America is the entertainment capital yeah, of the world, bruv, which is there's fair black enough. Black friends that will tell you. 
I don't mind you saying that to me. And there's and I would and you say, know that white people and, take every opportunity you know they can to say I it. I believe that there's a hundred more black people that will say that they don't like. Yeah, it. but so, they know what so, the funny so thing is, though. I always go with the premise that people always pick what is negative and they blow it up into something that is massive. And I think that the negative for me is a minority. I think that a majority of black people don't like the word. I think a majority of black people don't want anybody saying I think it worldwide to them. in America I think that they're more open to letting others say it man but Kanye West will, will claim himself as a representative of black so whatever he does he does it under the guise of being a black person a black man a black whatever so if he's singing this I song I don't think he would even with, say that with great contacts with great contacts if he's singing the song and he's saying that then he's giving car blanche to any other race to say it as well and if it's in a song and you're singing it because it's your favourite song you will say the n-word because it's your favourite song and it's in the song no one's going to stop you. No one's going to censor you in your own home or wherever you are. These girls that did it, yes, they may have known that they were doing it and it was going to go out. But like like the statement says, they're a sorority group. So for them to have um, a standing within their fraternity house and things like that, they want to be as popular as possible. So this is just giving them more popularity. I think personally, sorry, um, I think that if this was a word that... Um, uh, was that a negative word against maybe white people or even Jewish people or whatever? Trust me, they wouldn't be having this kind of stuff. Yeah, but Jews are not going out screaming. I know, but Jew I know they got they're not doing about. it now. But I'm just saying, on the flip side, just, if just on the flip side, Jewish music was the popular mainstream music in America and the world, and they didn't. Want and they and no, 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 no. And they used kike in their lyrics all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't it? All the time. Yid. Yid. Yeah. Okay, let's stick with the word yid. People use that. I'm sure you heard it today at your football game. No, I wasn't in the... You was in the West Ham stand? I was in the West Ham stand. Trader. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's but we team. know that the Tottenham fans, most of whom aren't Jewish... Will be spinning that word out because it's part of the cult- cultural heritage of the game. Same way that the N word is part of the cultural heritage of rap. Yeah, but here's the problem. So maybe the word would be used, no, Mr. Here, Wolf. Yeah, but here's the problem. But they try to stop it. The the problem is the word yid is the short in of Yiddish, which is a language spoken. Same as Pakistan is, is short for Pakistani. Yeah, but there are, there are no niggers. <laughs> There's no language word. There's no language called nigga. You've lost me now. Because yeah. I think you said pa- yeah. Pakistanis, Pakistanis. Yeah, you're, you're playing some Yiddish. There are no niggas. Yep. It's a derogatory but, term, though. It's a derogatory term. But so, I'm, what I'm saying to you is the one derogatory term comes from something, isn't it? It actually comes from something. Either yeah, way, but nigga comes a, from the. It, the you could say nigga derives from the word negroid, which or, it's or not, it could be, or it negro. Does. negro or black. It's, it's the Latin word is changed. And then it's they've 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 used Changed it in a negative way. Again, what does that have to do with black people? What? Because it means black. So because the original Latin word means yeah, black, it means black. So it's been changed and uh, slightly changed, like a lot of Latin words have, and it's been now used as a derogatory term. We agreed on that. But uh, yes, but what I'm saying is, Pakistani people call each other Pakis. Yiddish people, no, they call don't. Each, they do. No, oh, some of them might do. God. But if if a white person was to say it to them, no, are they just going to be like, yeah, cool, thumbs up, bro? The point I'm making here is... But the point is, this is a derogatory term. All so right, black cool. people call each other the N-word, yes? Yeah. And white people, if they do it to one of us, we ain't having it. If it was five Pakistani people doing this podcast and they might use it off off, off the air and as a term of endearment to each other, a white person couldn't just go up to them and call them that and they wouldn't take it. So how, how, how would you feel then if you're um, standing next to a girl that, let's say that you know this person, you, you, uh, let me the, finish. The point of this thing let, was let, let, uh, is a white person a racist? That's a question that I was nobody. Yeah, but we're that. gonna deviate. We're always gonna gonna do that. Yeah. Let, let's say that you know this girl. You kind of, um, um, you know, you're not bona fide bridging with her, but you know, and she is singing this song out loud. And white she's girl. next to you, yeah, and she's mentioning the word nigga, nigga, nigga. I'll this, push her down the that. stairs, man. But what's that got to do with anything? What do you mean? What's the, how would you feel about it? He just told you push it down the stairs. Exactly. I don't so, think he's yeah, saying. I don't think so, he's trying so, to say in that he thinks it's cool. I don't think he's saying that. So what you're saying to him is I don't think you're uh, uh, 
means you know he's going about what he's saying i think he don't think it's cool to say it but he's saying that if you're now because if what somebody said now if it was jews or somebody else it would be a different different kettle of fish and he's saying if that thing was a mainstream thing and jewish people were putting it in their music all the time the jewish slurs and blah 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 people would make it mainstream and they'll think to use it they would whether or not they will have be reprimanded, which they still get reprimanded for using the N word, it's not something that people get away with on a day to day basis well, when they get caught. No, if they get caught and it goes thingy, but most of the time they get reprimanded in some form of way, right? Not to say that it's something that they, they don't do at their home or whatever, but if it gets public and people find out just to show face, they say, okay, it's up very bad. We'll do something about it. But I don't, I don't, I don't think you'll be any different if it was the same, if it was other, other race with the same things. Okay, so let's say it wasn't your friend that was saying the N word. Let's say it was your partner. Wahala. Oh, are we going to touch on this? All right, so there was one uh, American football. Is he an American football player? I forget who yeah, his yeah. name is. He's yeah, a, he's an ex American football player. Ex American football player that's married to a white woman. You know that's what they do. So then. Um, She's an uh, NBA I don't player, think it was, isn't she? I don't think they were even married. Yeah. NBA no, they're married, man. Okay, carry on. But, anyways, basically. He has come out and said that he has been abused by the woman, physically, anime, and racially abused. So she was calling him the N-word during the relationship and beating him. Now, as men, we you know, you may take some time to say, you know what, I feel for this guy. But then it came out after that he's had some discussions abusing black women, saying that he would never date them. He would never do this with them. He would never do that with them. This is why he's a good storyteller, you know, because he changes it from something that was innocuous to, I would never do this. I would never do that. That's what he said, though, wasn't it? What happened was... That's what he said. That um, he was in a restaurant or a bar or something. uh, A waitress accused him of sexually touching him, like putting money in her knickers or her bra. I can't remember what it was. In her bra. Something like that. And then he said, no, I would never do that because I don't even like black women. I think she was a, I don't go out with black women. And to be honest with you, I think she was jealous because I had my white wife here with me or because she knows I like white women. Isn't it? Okay, you're right. He wasn't married. He was an ex-girlfriend. Albert Helmsworth. Or Haysworth or something. Sorry. AKA, Ex-wife. AKA the queen. Cool. You couldn't even, you couldn't even make this up. Guess what I did? Brittany. <laughs> Brittany. Brittany. On physical, abusing him and racially slurring him. Look at the picture of this woman. She's quite um, tonks. She reminds me of the person we were talking about last week. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, why did you want to talk about this? Because I just think it's funny. Everybody, everybody I, thinks. I it's think funny. it did. I think he deserved everything he got. He went to go and find himself there, and then now that she's she's getting abused, now he's crying about it. Anime. I've got no time for these people that get into these relationships and then start complaining about being racially abused. I just. I've got no time for it. Why? That, that That's an interesting thing. So if you go out with somebody that's not of your race, you can't complain about being racially abused by that person. If you go out with a white person as a black person and you get racially abused, why are you surprised? Because the person's that gone out with me, I would assume that they nah, weren't. Exactly. you're a token. <laughs> Blatantly. <laughs> I didn't even let you finish. Blatantly. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I think you dropped this. What's this? A token. Like, like Kaku like, like Kaku chant goes well with this situation keep that token it's just wants to be showing that he's got a big thing probably in her brain and blah blah it. blah that's it it's, I don't I don't get it I don't uh, how many times do you have to make the same mistake I'm not I'm, I'm okay for mistakes to be made yeah but I don't understand how many times you have to make the same mistake over and over again before you learn something can you? so a, a, a man cannot fall in love with a woman from another culture and just and believe that she has fallen in love with him and doesn't expect the majority of white people are not ready for this the majority of white people are not ready for this what is this Uh, apparently she's they've got a kid together as well yep they got like a two-year-old or something Mm. i I would say a majority of white people are not psychologically ready for relationship with people outside of the white race they're not sensitive enough emotionally to to deal with it properly what about blacks blacks again in a funny kind of way we have this a similar issue but it's not to the same extent so what you're saying once we strip off everything is that you don't think people are ready to date outside their race no because we've had this we've we've lived in a society where we've spent how many generations uh, segregating ourselves within the way we think about each other god damn 
to the point where now we haven't had it's like the same thing where I say white people are racist and people get upset at me I'm not saying it because I'm being malicious with the intent I'm saying it because they've never learned anything else I have to kind of disagree with you because um, if you like I'm not saying every single but I'm saying in majority they haven't learned anything else our, our whole societies our whole educational systems our whole everything we're exposed to reinstates this idea of white supremacy whether we like it or not it's it's over it's um uh what's the other word Cover. Cover. it's ob- obtuse it's acute but it's constantly there so we haven't had the counter education to deal with that we're going through that period now where we're starting to do that but we're not ready yet we're not ready for that interracial behavior and, I'm, 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 and don't get me wrong if there are interracial people or people who are in an interracial relationship right now listening to this thinking, oh yeah, you know, he's chatting complete rubbish. I'm not talking about you as an individual. I'm talking about on mass here. The institution. I'm talking about the institution. It's I'm talking about on mass. There, there's always going to be individuals that get it. There's always going to be individuals that understand. There's always going to be families that are multicultural and work. But on mass, we're just not ready for it. And I do, I do think sometimes how many of these uh, interracial relationships. Um, have these little issues these little niggles where things pop up that may be you know racially ambiguous um wording let me give you a story i was in thailand the other day and i we we went to um uh me and my missus went to go and get um uh foot massages and stuff like that from this place yeah and we saw a couple in there and um one of the um when we was in there my missus was talking to her mum, and she was talking in yoruba and the the guy it was a couple that was there with a black guy and a, and a white woman you right. saw Nigerians in Thailand, basically. Yes. So we started speaking. He was he was from America, but he's an American Nigerian. So we were speaking in Yoruba, right? And he his face glue. I mean, it, um, glue. You know, it glowed. He was like, "What's like, like?" He was just uh, shocked. And I was like, "Are you Nigerian?" He goes, "Yeah." He goes, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." Because he's like, he was automatically just listening to the conversation. He goes, "I didn't mean it. It's like I haven't heard Yoruba for so long. Like he must have been born in Nigeria and has been in America and has hasn't heard it for ages." He's like, "I haven't heard it for so long." So when he started speaking, I was shocked. Blah blah blah. So then we started talking to this guy because obviously he's Nigerian, but Nigerian, blah blah blah. His wife is there. I'm assuming it's his wife, white woman. And um we were talking about the different massages. And then um we're like, what did you get? She goes, Oh, I got the um she got like the chocolate massage or something like that, yeah. And he goes, You know, I'm just girl, I'm getting out there and I'm getting tanned. And she goes, No, I'm just getting just as black as you are. I'm gonna be just like you, she said to the husband. As black as you, sorry, to the husband. And the husband just looked at us and he knew that we was just like the, within his heart he apologised he did he, might, he should have said it in Europe so we all could just say it together he should have said because he just knew that he's like oh god this is what you want to come and show everybody outside like you were coming out that's can't, exactly you, can't you, take her anywhere you can't take her because that is exactly what the type of things I'm like she thinks she's not saying anything wrong that's exactly. well, but that person like what's wrong with what she said come on man what is wrong with what she said you're not gonna be as black as him but, for one okay, but let's like, why, why are you coming to tell me about your bloody tad is anything to do with my melanin skin my god given melanin skin has got to do with your stupid tan that you don't even have you sound like one black supremacist I am it's, it's <laughs> edu- my god given melanin skin it's, 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 whiteness it's, it's, edu- it's education bro. And, trust and me with your it's, ed- it's education <laughs> And they, we're lacking it in this soci- in our society. You people are lacking. The thing is, when you—it's not about being sensitive, bro. It's the I'm real. I'm gonna be as dark as you is, is an insult. No, but it the thing is, when man, you, it's not when insult, you, but it's just like, why? Come shut up. When you do, you, ent- do they shoot at you? No. When you enter the institution of white supremacy, whiteness, white people will have the the privilege to say any racial slur, and it can come from a good place in their heart because their mind doesn't realize that they're being racist. Or even if their mind does realize they're being racist, they don't right, care nigga, yeah. because you've already entered and signed the contract that I will abuse you racially if I feel like it because you're my man and you're gonna get it and shut up. It's like nigga. <laughs> it's like what nigga. would you do nigga. if you were sleeping with a woman and she just called you nigga in bed? She's getting she's getting a punch. I wouldn't be in that situation. But then, what? But could could you turn around and say honky bitch? Yes. And she'll probably be happy about it. There you go, then. That's what she wants. Because now you're playing the game, innit? Yeah, because that's what she wants. The gang go on, G. It's a shame. I, there was so much more I wanted to talk about. I wanted to yes, talk about the. It was the basketball dude, though. Was it Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. Steph Curry refusing, yeah. refusing the White House. Yeah, and then Trump <laughs> cussing Steph Curry on the internet, and then LeBron James coming back. But What did LeBron James say? Go quickly, quickly. He called him a bum. He said, You're a bum. Yeah. He saw, he's, you can't uninvite him. He said, He didn't want to go. 
Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh yeah, yeah. His man said he don't want to go. If somebody said they don't want to go. How can you say he, that you uninvited he him? He called the bum. president a. Bum. That president is a bitch ass. You know that, innit? And look up. Uh, you know what? The beef between him and Chung Chong Chong, whatever his name is, yeah. Kim Jong. Kim uh, Jong is just gonna come out. Say, 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 say his name. He Kim Jong Un. Say his said, name. Respect that. No, put no, some no I'm gonna put no respect on his name. No, put some respect on his name. No, because I'm sure you could black him. He said, yeah. I'm going to do something to you that's going to be like almost devastating. I forgot what it was like a proper word, like a threat. I'm like, is this how these men are going on? Like, they don't respect Trump. Nobody respects Trump. No, you t- Trump, to be honest, Trump did start it with. Of course he did. But, yeah, but they don't respect like They were saying it's like the you have the kids in the playground having like a playground this, fight. This is, this is what Kim Jong, in. like this is unprecedented. What? Because last week when we dropped the podcast, the UN, one of their things happened and uh all the nations get together, all the all the all members of the UN, and they get to talk. Trump did his thing. He cast Iran. He cast uh, um, North Korea. Yeah. And uh, basically, there's a lot of... Trump is a bitch. One of th- there was a lot of comeback. But the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, did a, a live broadcast, which he's never done before. Mixtapes. Yeah, it's like 30... It, it, mm. Trump bars. Never done before. It's the first time... Do, 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 do. Fuck Trump. Fire in the booth. Either, and... <laughs> It ended off like this. It's a bit long, so just bear with me. But far from making remarks of any persuasive power, that so he's talking about his speech, like uh, what Trump said. But far from making any remarks of uh, any persuasive power that can be viewed to be helpful to diffuse intention, he made unprecedented, rude nonsense, one who has never heard from any of his predecessors. A frightened dog barks louder. I'd like to advise Trump to exercise prudence in selecting words and to be considerate of whom he speaks to when making a speech in front of the world. That's like your dad telling you, what's your mouth, bitch? What? That's what I'm saying to you. <laughs> a scared dog barks, barks louder. louder. That's not God damn. He's a gangster. I told you. Don't mess with the... Hmm. He I told you. He his said, family members. He said, KG, watch you, bro. your mouth. Be careful what you're saying in front of the world. KJU, sorry. And these people are going backwards and forwards now. Uh, uh, it's, it's deep. Russian but people said they're, they're acting like children Hashtag in KJU. kindergarten. The Iranians came back to Trump, cussing him back. It's going. It's listen, madness, man. WrestleMania 35 or wherever it is. That's what I'm it's going to be played in politics. I, 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 listen. There's going to be war. I'll be honest with you, yeah? going to be war. I'll be, I'll be, honest with be honest with you. I don't see why these men have to use their armies to go fight. They're, they're all in the same room. They're in the UN. They might as well just rock it out there. They might as well just go for it. Go for it. Physical. You're there. Two tribes. Okay. Go. go to war. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Before you say that. Step over the stage. Just want to say that. Man that the, Trump... Uh, What's his name? Steph Curry is not the first person to say he's not going to the uh, White House. So what happens is after you win American football, the Super Bowl, and you win the championship with the NBA, Steph Curry is an NBA player. They just won the championship. He's been to the White House a couple of times before. With Obama? And yeah. Obama. I know Obama. He won it once and he's been there and he also went there for some other things. So he's been there before anyways. But uh, there's an American footballer, the people that won the uh, Super Bowl, I think the last time, and they could have gone. And I think the quarterback said he wasn't going. I don't necessarily remember why, but... Trump hasn't mentioned nothing about that white super super uh, white 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 dude. Are you, do, he, are you he talking did. about the one now? What the the uh, Gary Payton? Is it Gary, not Gary Payton. The, what's the guy? The guy that's won all the f- Super Bowls. Is it him that's not guy? For the is it for the Patriots? It seems like you know what I mean. Now, um, yes, the, yeah, the Pats won it last last. Yeah. It's not him. It can't be him. Somebody didn't go, and he didn't say nothing. It was a it was a quarterback for an American football team. Well, he didn't say nothing because he was a white guy. Well, why is it, why are you bothering the, the, this one? Oh, but Spe- you're gonna say something. Speaking of Super Bowl, because you should come to your ancestors. House. Uh, Jay Z turned down a Super Bowl performance, didn't he? Yes, half he time, did. Half time. Yeah. I think they're saying that it's because of um, Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. Also, Trump has tweeted about this one, cousin cousin Kaepernick. No, but I think that Jay Z move is a big move because that's what we were talking about. In fact, he called him a son of a bitch. He, sorry, he didn't tweet. Okay, yeah, Tom Brady. Yeah, Tom Brady. Oh, he's all star, isn't he? And he? Tom Brady is the white boy as well. He mm. is the white boy. He is the he's the, the poster like boy. He's the poster boy for white. He's got a supermodel wife. He's won all these awards. He's he's like the best. They call him the best quarterback ever because he's one. He's he, he probably is. And uh, yeah, he he said he ain't going. They yeah. didn't say nothing about him. And he went with Obama was there. So he silently did his protest as well. Where he just like I I don't think I'm gonna go with Trump in in the White House. And he never mentioned him. But when Steph Curry is, didn't go, although Steph Curry kind of made reference to, you know, I, I ain't going. 
He went and said, you are, you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, bruv, I said I ain't going. Yeah, it's, like, it's like we're firing you at work. Large it? up to I Colonel Gaddafi. You can't come to my, my birthday Did party. Did you man say large up to Colonel Gaddafi? Yes, God. because his um, UN speech, or the two of them, were the best ever. Oh, what? so whatever this king. Was it John, the UN speech or the speech of the Arab nations? UN speech. Mm. To the world. Okay, I need to, yeah. I need to hear You think that was a good as Heli Selassie's one? Uh, Where he says until the colour of a man's skin and is of no significance not, to the colour of his but, eyes, um, there will be war. In recent times, um, my man tore it down a couple times by Colonel Gaddafi, and that's probably what got him killed. Send me them links. Then. But Send I don't know if it's as good as what um, you know, Big Shaq said. You know, where the thing goes. <laughs> it's good, like, boom, boom. Yeah, support it. It's, it came out last week uh, or the weekend, so I'll support it. Support what? what? Big Shaq. Song. Big Shaq. The what's his real name? Is it an actual song? Like uh, Michael. Michael Dapia. Yeah. yeah. Is it yeah, an actual he's, single? He released it there. Fuck. Yeah. Tough to make the money, man. Why not? Well, I'll play it towards the end. All right. So uh, we are now out. It's a long one again. Uh, but you love it. You love it, long do you? See, you're making it worse, either. Don't you? you. Know, anyway, like trust there. Twenty-four inches. Let's say our. <laughs> good- <laughs> Let's say our goodbyes. Uh, webs. Yes, people. Thank you for listening. We enjoyed your company and I hope you enjoyed ours. Just catch Webs on the Instagram, DJ Webs, Twitter, DJ Webslinger. And that's it. The other guy's sleeping, so allow it. Simple. Simple Simon loves all the people, all of the people, and all of the people. All of the time. Clearly, it doesn't sound like that from the rhetoric. I know. This, episode. this is why I have to, I have to say this, because I love all of the people. I just... Say it as I see it. All anyway, of them. At Simple Simon FB on Twitter. Get at me. All of them. Oh, Allah. Yo, catch me up, Big Wahala on Insta. On, on Twitter, catch me and Simple Simon on Miss Audrey Bree's uh, video. It's, it's part called, two coming out yet. Part two's not out yet. But it's When will you marry? Auntie asked, when will you marry? Also catch uh, Only the Brave on 52 Weeks Later. And, yeah. Uh, Yemi's uh, online. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's Yemi online. online. People are, Yemi online. Are, people are tweeting Insta. him though. People are tweeting him so he's because of, because I tag him. they tweet to us and others tag him in because of yeah. like, he's, he, he ain't gonna see this. Gonna see Yemi's this. Insta and it's Yemi online. Catch me there. Boom. Big big him up. Big him up. Bad man thing. I am Stavros Boss. You can catch me at Stavros Boss everywhere. You can catch us collectively at ESN Podcast on Twitter and Instagram on Facebook. If you search for Eloquently Say Nothing, you will find us there. If you could please use the hashtag ESN Pod, that will help us seek and uh, scrutinize the words you have sent in our direction. If you have any questions or comments, you can email them if they are too long for those social medias. You can email them to ESNPodcast at gmail.com. Come on, bring it on. ESN podcast at gmail.com. Please talk to us. Talk to us. We want to hear what you have to say. Get me, family. You get me. So, uh, thank you. Another episode of Eloquently Say Nothing is finished. We are going now to eat our food and to enjoy our wives. Yeah, you said like matchy. I don't remember people if you ain't saying nothing. Say it well. I got a question for you. Though. Catch family Go ahead. on um, um, iTunes. Oh. Mm, nice. So, one simple. What are you going to say, man? Um, huh? Have we got any updates? That was simple. I was the final.